Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome back to the number one pop culture podcast, Zero Conditions Podcast. I have with me here my able cast, Motolani Alake in the building, ladies and gentlemen. It's not cast, but it's co-host. My co-host. My brother, you're on TV now. Oh, look Who's at that. I've forgotten. I forgot and I stepped up. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I stepped up and God forgot did. about it. <laughs> yeah, and um, the incredible Melody Hassan, who at this point, I would like to state, is literally walking in on set because she's very, very late. I this mean, is episode what? Episode three. three. And she has been late on all three episodes. Yeah. Yeah. We have been late on all three episodes. Melody, all we three need you episodes. to make a promise right now on live TV. Apologize first. To our audience that you will not be late. No, apologize. Why have you been late in the last three episodes? You guys. Do you know I was supposed to come with you guys? To where? I wanted to meet with Tej and come with you guys. Bro, do you know where I'm coming from? You're coming from the mainland now. No. Where? I'm coming from Hedis. You went to Hedis. Why are you doing at the Why are you at the Hedis? My friends, I, so that I'll bring information for us now. What's what are you doing? I was the information. I was the information you brought. I was the exclusive. Was the exclusive. Hmm. This exclusive is hot. I'm serious. Oh, yes, you guys, let me let me arrange my mail. <laughs> so, the winner of a head is next rated. Eh. We'll get what house. We'll get a house. <laughs> Where is the house? Um, Citadel. Where's Citadel? <laughs> Where's on the island, Shai? Go be now. Yeah, Citadel. Place flooding. Two bedroom, <laughs> fully furnished. Two bedroom, fully, fully furnished. furnished solar house. Solar house. Oh wow. Solar wow. in the wood. Yeah. yeah but, but, so you came to tell us something that we would have seen on Twitter eventually, <laughs> like in two hours. But this is exclusive. How? Dropping breaking news as the day hot. Ah, but people would have heard it by Monday. People would have tweeted it at the venue just we, because we are not online on no, Twitter. No, don't say that. I'm on TV. I'm on TV. I'm a host. I know what I went through. I fought lions. I fought everything. <laughs> ah, I'm so get exclusive for my Yadu Achao. Yadu Achao, I would have tweeted it myself. Please, so excuse me. <laughs> the event is still ongoing, but now I've brought the information. I, said my fr- I, have to, I have to say this joyful thing before everybody else is here. But guys, I'm actually really sorry. That's like, I, I was know. trying as much as I, as I could to meet up with the time and I was driving. And why are you wearing hotel shoes again? <laughs> Anyways, what's been happening with you guys? Malaria. Mm. Who has malaria? Malaria so. won't kill me. Oh, are you serious? My That's one of your tongues. What? One of your tongues. My what? Tongues. You know what I mean? Yeah. No. Events, one of your tongues. One of your old tongues. <laughs> Before you give your life Who's to Christ. Old. Old Before tongues. Before you give my life to Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Before you found Master Jesus. This is a guy who this is that, the that, that, that's for, for the Twitter space. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Nah. I'm happy I to announce know. that Excel in Octua is in a relationship. <laughs> relationship is doing yeah, well. That's what live TV. Relationship is doing well. It's oh, blossoming. Oh. Oh, thanks. I passed away. I passed away. <laughs> that's the whole episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Tanks. You put tanks in all caps. We are in a new dispensation. Right. Yes. Right. Right. Did you go? Nah, I'll get drunk. No, I don't know. I came by myself with Master Jesus. Praise the Master yeah. Jesus. What's up, man? What's happening with you guys? What, what's guys, do you, do you guys feel like. I don't know how to say this without sounding offensive. First of all, Tony is wearing a piece from install. My nigga, shout, shout out to install. Shout out to install. Shout out to Fosha. And yes. They sent me shirt. Don't lie. Let me check. It's installed actually. Okay. Sent me two shirts. As yeah. influencer. No, not full shop. shop. People where they people where they pay. Full shop. You store. know they give them free shirts. No, actually, yeah, an know. artist paid him to make it for me. Oh. So shout out to shout out to full shop, full shop, full shop, shop, my nigga. You know, that guy is winning. He's going he's places. Doing well, yeah, he's doing well. He's going Big up to you, brother. Yeah, we're going places. All right, you are going to say something. Do you feel like? I don't know how to say this. <laughs> See, without sounding... I don't know how to say this without sounding offensive. It's about to sound offensive as fuck. Yeah. But let's go. I don't know. It feels like the headies have become like every episode, every edition. Instead of doing like things that would actually bring value to it, it's it's like almost. 
like the organizers the, the organizer or organizers whatever they are trying to create shock value or hype Hi. you know i just had two plates of everest from head two Congrats. plates of, of I, I, I didn't I sell know. my reputation I, whatever for two plates whatever. of ever soup i didn't sell my it voice serves me hot I'm okay. i didn't sell my I'm voice i'm gonna take that I'm not i didn't take i didn't this. sell I'm my voice but well, guess what they're still going back to atlanta yeah i i i, I heard i heard from uh from, from somebody line. walking on the show the oh, i actually week. thought they were coming back to I'm, no, I'm man, dis- the money ain't here, bro. I'm a little disappointed by that. Though. The money why, ain't why? here, bro. Um, so that's why from what I was saying about. Like, why are you disappointed that they are going back to Atlanta? I'll get to that. That's moment. what he's about to explain. About the shock value thing, like there are things that the show needs. Okay. You understand? Mm-hmm. It's not about doing the Bentley things or the houses. Those things are good if they are a cherry on top of the show. But the production of the show, the visuals of the show, like the settings of the show, like. Bro, there are a lot, there are a lot more things to do that bring actual value to the show. Like, you can do all the homes that you, that you want. You can book, give all the Bentleys that you want, right? Like, there are things that you need to do to actually make the show better. You understand? Like, the show still looks like you are doing it in 2005. Bro, what are we doing here, man? Like, like just by the fact that they went to do it in Atlanta last year, I like all the planning, I like all the Bentley, like the announcement, the rollout, fantastic. But the show itself, the production, the visuals. The stage, bro. Come on. But well, I think the quality got better last year. I don't think so. No. It didn't. The visual? No, it did not. So what do you think? I think that one of the things that makes Heady sweet is the chaos. It is, is part is, of. His head is really sweet. No, it? bro. Heady's night is sweet oh, on Twitter. Oh, Heady's night is sweet on and, Twitter. And Except, least, I, I feel chaos. like it's been. Okay, it's, the, the event I feel, night. I feel like it's been winning year on year though. Yeah, I th- yes, it has, yeah. and maybe last year it was. I didn't. It didn't feel that way because, because of Atlanta. Twitter spaces. No, no, because even Atlanta, yes, yeah, and the fact that yeah. they were going abroad. And, and it'd be a, lo- a lot more celebrities came last year. But they, sort of the, um, yeah, yeah. Celebrity, yeah. The, oh my God, the red carpet of uh, of um, last year's. So, oh my God. Did you, was, I didn't catch it. it was, oh, don't watch it. it was it's going to traumatize. It was a bit horrible. Not a bit. It, it was horrible. The red carpet. Was horrible. The red carpet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't see that one. I just. Yeah. Yeah, and even like the camera switching from one camera to another, like, the whole thing was very chaotic. But of course, like I said, this chaos makes for banter on Twitter. I know that the banter yes, that like, I saw the yeah, most, bro, the like, conversation yeah. between um, Osas and and uh, Anthony Anderson. Yes, Anthony and Anthony. My Anderson. Only. Oh, that, that whole shit was weird. <sighs> Osas was very uncomfortable. Yep. She? Yeah, yeah she, she was now, but she she's a professional. She, she, she just well. smiled and yeah. she looks really moving. beautiful. Actually, she looks so hot. Beautiful. God damn it! So My own problem is like, just make the show better, man. Like, if you really like, your point is that it's a legacy substance over a, gimmicks. Yeah, do that's you your point. Like all these gimmicks, you are improving the next trailer. Like, what is it going? Are you, what are you going to feel like if in five years nobody really? Nobody really gives a shit about the next return anymore. Do you understand? Like there are things that make shows good. But we always have emerging artists, anyways. My, like shows are not moved by emerging artists. Is that one to believe it or not? One hundred and ten percent. I watch shows that are not moved by emerging artists. You get why Eminem para for Grammy <clears> say. <throat> Do you understand? And I will just nominate all the big guys every year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that will come. But yeah. You're not giving us anything. Awards are not driven by by emerging artists. Like, why do you think they they um like 50 Cent made an allegation some years ago that um why do um they, Beyonce and Jay Z will say they are not coming, they are not winning. Bro, allegation, yeah. Yeah, and so that they, an and, they, and yeah. they try to bribe them by giving them. Bro, it's it's it's, uh, it's what it, like the reality of the matter. That's uh, that's the truth because do you know the ratings that you're going to get if Beyonce wins? Like a major, a major attends, award, or even like attend sales. Attends. Just how on the red carpet, you know? it's like like for years, Jay Z didn't come. You know, yeah. or so about two or three years ago, or four, four, five years ago, they gave him like lifetime something, something at the programming passes. Since then, Baba has been there. No, but I think I think he was yeah, coming before then. Now I think he came I like a year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he didn't go for like a few years in the late nineties slash early two thousands because of DMX, by the way. They didn't nominate DMX for the Grammy. Hmm. So they boycotted it, my, even though he was nominated. My 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 own is that um, the so generally mm-hmm. there is a. There is a thing here in Nigeria about people who are in the positions to really like uphold pop culture mm-hmm. as what it should be. Like 
for example, the head is, is a big deal. It's it like is a big deal. Award. Yeah. Biggest and the most consistent mm. year yes. in year. So it's a legacy platform. It is. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And it feels like it doesn't get carried like that. Yeah. By the viewers now? No, by, by the, the organizers. organizers. By the organizers, right? I mean, then again, there are a lot of things to factor. Raising money for the head is, it was tough over the years. In this era of an Afrobeat agenda where you Everything are getting is going to the world. good financial support, <laughs> you know, um, you would expect that... Time is now. That, you know, production value, everything will change, change now. But it doesn't seem that way. And I'm seeing it as a general problem in the industry where there are people... There's a problem of people not caring about culture. So Why do you say that? I don't know. I So, like... And this is also even with like execs, okay. right? There are ex- there are music execs that, <coughs> to a large extent, is business at the end of the day, which is fine and it should be. Everybody should get their bread yeah. up. Yeah. But there is a place of promoting love for the culture. culture, love for the culture. It should be a thing, especially in the arts, in the creative industry. And I feel like, to a large extent. Maybe because people, of course, maybe when they started, they had that zeal. Mm-hmm. You get, and then somebody showed them Shege, and, it just and then you see that it's all wild, wild west out here. So they're like, okay, Origi- let me align. Billy Norwich's story. Uh-huh, let me align. Yeah, you know, but like, I've seen it across boards in different ways that people don't actually like love. I, this is even artists. Though. I'm going even into artists. I was about to ask you something now. I'm going even into artists. Be- before before you say that, before you say that, I want to ask you a question yeah. that I think might lead you to what you're about to say now. This conversation we're trying to have now about you saying people don't care about the culture, yeah. right? I want to ask you, aside from you know the culture, we're talking about people upholding the culture, yeah. and I'm sure you are speaking more about the execs, you're speaking more about the people at the back end, right? Yes, people Let's now bring it to the front. Do you think it's also the same with art generally? And this is like across different, across di- as in like a different spectrum with the quality of the music, yeah. with the quality of the art. Like I saw Tony talking about hip hop and how people were having a conversation around hip hop not being the way it used to be. Mm. Do you think that generally, even with Afrobeat, yeah. I see that these days we have conversations where we say things like artists are more concerned about doing songs that have um, catchy hooks or catchy this for TikTok for yeah. specific um, yeah. you know platforms as opposed to just doing music back in the day the way they used to do the music where it's just more about the music. Like I'm in, entering the studio, I don't have like things written to say. Okay, can we catch? Can we use an, somebody's name that is popular to catch a line? Can we do this? Can we do that? Like not enough mathematics, more about the arts. So this decline is it across spectrum? This so. And also, second question: Is it can we also say the same with the people that are being hired to uphold this culture? Um, the people that are being hired to like it's a set up question <laughs> no it's not yesterday I tweeted um, did you see my tweet yesterday no I didn't I yeah. said we have a music exec problem I think it's gotten better though. from f- ah yeah yes and no yes it has I think it's gotten better yes it has time. but so yes it has but like at the same time I, I would like to see what did you see that made you tweet that like what was the specific you don't have to mention names or oh no like a lot of um Marketing plans cross my desk okay. in different ways. And you're like, yeah. what's this? And I always look at it and I say, what's this? And I see some things that even like big labels here, yeah. local and international do, but they are big. Yeah. And I'm like, why this? Mm. How? I've seen things that are legit cringy. And I see them even executed. And I'm like, ah. You went on to do this. Ah, I wish I could really go into specifics without getting into trouble and give examples. But if I do it, I've caught like 10 alliance, alliances. No, so let me not that. do that. Do but that. let me go back to you. So with, with, with music, there's how I see music in general. Yeah. I feel like music as for artists, this is not talking about the artists, not people behind the scenes. Yeah. I feel like generally music is like what you what people will say what pastors say i have a calling you know when pastors say i have a calling mm-hmm. i feel like music genuinely is a calling and the people there are people who can do music they can sing you can even a lot of people who don't sing now if you take them for training two three years they will yeah. come out as yeah. at least good singers like so, me yes not the greatest but good uh, um horrible. what's his name Ed Sheeran has played a recording of how he used to sound before on a, on a 
on a late night TV show. He's on YouTube. He sounded horrible. You're joking. I'm not joking. I'm go, 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 go search for that clip. It's on I'll YouTube. find it. But with a lot of training, he got... Now, where I'm going is that there are people that can't sing, so they sing. And there are people that for them, music is a calling. If they were selling pure water, they will find a way to sing. Even if he's singing in a bar, even if he's singing in a lounge. Something about the audience. Tr- because it's, it's a calling. calling. And those kind of artists are becoming people that put the music first. They are becoming rarer. Extinct. Beco- because now look at music. The barrier for entry is very low. You can get a beat on YouTube. You can like it's yeah. very low. If you can just was, you can even go viral without a record label. And you're yeah, good. Finish. It's done. Shout out to trap. The barrier for entry is very low. And there are very, very few people. Very, very few people that put the art first. And it just shows in different ways. It shows in how they treat their own music. It shows in how they work. Their work ethic. It shows in how they record. It shows in how they promote. It shows in how they push. So we have a lot of songs now. But then again, there are also different factors. There are like, how many songs are released weekly? Maybe like 200 or 500,000 songs are released weekly. So the competition is a lot. So it gets to a point where it's like, let me adjust to the reality and let me do, hmm. let me shout do what needs to be done to survive or to make it. But generally, like, especially with hip hop as an example, like, I saw your tweet where I told you today that what hip hop needs it's kind of worse releasing an album, and I fully agree because you know the quality. Was it? But Dustin Truth, said Dustin Truth tweeted something important. He said, "Kanye West to executive produce five new, fresh new artists. Exactly, fresh artists that are very talented. That and, would be very impactful." And as I said, five new artists that are very talented, executive produced by Kanye, but actually produced by Metro Boomin. Okay, but in recent that times, would work. in recent that would times, work in, in recent times, who are the artists that? Kanye has worked with. Before before we even get there, let's let's wrap up this conversation. So and then sorry, I didn't answer. Yes, with the execs, right? Because you also asked yes, about yes, the, yes. behind the scenes. I feel like we've stopped the execs even have stopped getting creative. I feel like the execs <laughs> themselves have stopped creating as a result of a burnout. Yeah, there is that and there's just there's like, routine. There's routine. There is like the fact that man, we are a third world economy, man. Yeah. It is what it is. Do you understand? Like yeah. niggas want to get the bread and go Keep home. Keep it moving. Do you understand? But it's affect art is art. No matter exactly. how you like once you start treating art like uh, science. Like um no, science. like uh, clock in clock out. Clock in clock like out. Science. Uh-huh. Like it, it no longer becomes art. And that's where we are right now. I feel like we started this conversation from the Eddie situation. I feel like the Eddie situation is a choice. A choice. Yeah. Not How to improve so? it. I feel like bro, something cannot have been bad or questionable. And you have, you have been getting the feedback for years. getting the feedback for over seven years. And you're do still doing know? it the same way. Do, do they, they get can't the say feedback? They don't know now. What, what are you saying? So that's why he's saying it's a choice. It's they a can't choice. say they don't know. There's no way you don't know. If you don't know someone, you know. And make get, make no mistake, There's a, there was a... This man... It's like Anima Shan came on a Twitter space last year where they were talking about the headies. Yes, and he talk, and he spoke there. I believe it was um um Demi Wam in my own in his space. Well, was we it? had a we had a Twitter. We have it and I, was I, there. I think they said he was there. Ah, yeah. yeah, he I was. Think, that was, was the same night of the YouTube Africa Day. Yeah. Or something, something. Yeah. So somebody at the venue that was okay. sitting beside him saw him on our Twitter. Do you understand? Okay, but wait, le- wait. Sorry, I'm let me ask just. Ask you something, Tolani. Okay. Just speaking on the head, I'm okay. going to ask you a question. Yeah. Not to cut you short. So on this question of. Now I'm just I'm just, I just want to ask you guys genuinely. Let's not forget that the run that head is they've had for this like the consistency. The consistency. Let's not forget that some other people have tried mm-hmm. to do this mm-hmm. and they've not been able to consistently do it. Some people come in with mad, you know the maddest quality and everything, and they could not do it sustainably for two three years. If it's where it's situation of choice, if you, it's, if it's where a situation of it is. Let's just let's choose to continue to give quality. Don't you think those people have been able to stay? Sorry, when you what said is, it, when you said the maddest quality, sound city just flashed in my eye. Excel. What is wait? Excel. Wait, wait, wait. What is worth doing is worth doing. To whom much is given, much is expected. Preach. You understand? Talani has been preaching a lot. Um. So the number one po- number one issue is if you have decided 
props for consistency. Don't get me wrong. Like props for consistency. But if it was just about consistency, then certified lover boy should have won number one today. By Drake, do you understand? Mm. Like if it was just about consistency, then Drake should be getting to be collecting at least three hundred million from music from music every year. But it's not like that. If you don't make quality, nobody's going to care. You understand? It just so happens. I think the headies are still the headies are still like this because there is no worthy competition here, and there is going to be a worthy competition within the next two to three to four years. And there is going to be a worthy competition. with the kind of money coming in. In Afro the kind beats, of money coming in, somebody will want to, to say, yeah, yeah, somebody would say. And that's when that's when the organiz- organizers of the headies are going to be. because people are going to move away from the headies in droves. LD competition. You understand? From the headies in droves because especially if the thing is young, it's hip, the production is great. You understand? If those guys now they have their nominations make on it point, as inclusive as possible. Like the head is where the head is improved was the nomination. Nominations, part. yes, more inclusive. Yeah, oh no, part. that one, that one. The nominations, significant they they expanded categories, became more inclusive. Big, inclusive. Big shout out to the head is for that right? one. Yeah. For the production to make it as cool and as hip as possible. As urban like, artists wouldn't even want to come to something that gets criticized for production every year. You understand? Like they won't want to come. The out uh, aesthetics. Like you have to be kissing the ass for them to come. You understand? So that's the. Let, let's not go into it for too long. We have been saying it for years. It's just for the people. It's a choice at this point, right? The number two problem is with the music thing that you said. Music has always been like this. Music has always conformed to trends. Always. Conform to what? To trends. To okay. evolution. Okay. Like in the 80s, for example, people started conforming to standards of music videos on MTV. You understand? People started conforming to. When it became the era of YouTube, people started conforming. YouTube. It's always been like this. People were conforming to something. But did that affect the quality of the music? Um. So what you're talking about now is the so visual again, representation. The, 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 this conversation around quality, yes. I don't disagree with it, but uh-huh. sometimes it can be very subjective. I agree. You understand? I agree. Because we saw a different era. The young people. They they don't, this, this is, this, is, this is what they know. This is what they know. This is what they know. Like I agree. my pussy pink music is the reality. Only pussy pink music. That's that's that's. Only pussy. And then we had a Barbie. My pussy my pussy pink rap. You understand? Like, it's a reality for these guys as well. My brother is trash. <laughs> it's not reality. It's trash. So I'm Kiana sorry. is horrible. Makes it's horrible trash. music. I don't care what anybody is saying. It's trash. Like, it's but horrible. what do you think about this? But you, but let me. Let's I get what I get. There's point. a reason why it's selling. Because it, it, it. But it's heavy market in Tanzania. Anything that's no, marketed no, well no, will no, sell. No, 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 no. Like, like, melody, bef- the reason why all the labels are getting into it is because it's selling. And you're not. Sh- and you're not. Are you saying that it's selling? Because now this, this is a question, Tolani mm-hmm. and Excel. Are you guys saying that the music is selling regardless of the quality because of the generation that we're in and the kind it's of music see. they like? Don't say or quality. Don't say wait, quality. Or it's because of the marketing. No, melody. Okay. See, if something is not existing, if there's no if there's no market for something, there's no amount of market that marketing that can create the market. You understand? If there's no market for it, what marketing can do is to sink. No, okay. not even that. If let's say the market is not big enough. Right, what market marketing can do is f- go into the market, do some audience acquisition that can actually expand the market. The thing has to be there. A lot of people make a lot of mistakes by saying, Oh, there's no market here before. No, some people that were niche artists, there's a market for Brimo's music. Now, if Brimo comes and blows up, as an example, <laughs> if Brimo comes and blows up tomorrow, people are going to say, Oh. Someone did what you mean no. if Brimo blows up tomorrow? Bro, I'll, I'll report is, you to Brimo. Brimo is blown. Is the biggest blown? artist in the world. I agree. Number one. I agree. Tulani, I have, Number, continue. I agree. Let Tulani be done, but I have something to say about I that. Agree. Like, the reality is, markets can only expand what's already there. So, like, all this my pacific music, they are a reaction to the reality of our time. Like, social media, liberalism, wokeness, feminism, like, the sexual liberalism of women. Like, that's what, that's where all of this music is from. Solani, yes, yes, I hear you now. Yeah. So for for you guys to say that, what? Guys, break. we're going on a break. break. Um, thank you for joining us. We'll be back soon. Remember to check out the full episode, audio and video, on Monday on all platforms. Yeah. Okay. Now, Tolani, you're saying something. You said something about the market. If, the, if there's no market for something, there, regardless of all the marketing and everything, um, it won't stick, right? So how do you explain genres of music or how do you explain movements? that when people have conversations saying things like oh the hotel space these guys were doing music at some point and it was entering and people were feeling it and now it feels like regardless of whatever music that is put out they're not getting the kind of traction that they used to get back the problem with the hotel space is the hotel space came at a time of 
these guys were young they understood each other they were moving like a community do you understand communal. like they were communal regardless of it wasn't just lagos by the way like it was across the country right Outside and the they had stars don't make no mistake they had stars that were like the focal points of those movements now what changed about them that movement was going at the time what they lacked was making music that the, that the mainstream could relate with that the mainstream could enjoy yeah. right that was the only thing they lacked they had all of the other things so if they had made music that the mainstream could enjoy and there was marketing involved they would have blown up so the problem there was just marketing no the music wasn't right as well the music wasn't right enough like imagine if alter movements had an odomodu black in 2017 with all this marketing okay the music was not appealing enough are to you listen. sure melody do you do you do, do you think people where are the quotables when 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 what no. are we saying within their community melody you are stop thinking about yourself why do you think shay vibes is blowing up because he appeals to the general audience do you audience. understand oh. why is Sasha kept blowing up and then the also, sound is relatable the flow is relatable the lyrics are relatable you and don't then have to also it. like to add like they also get like they are also once in a while they have like brilliant moments that yeah. i feel like they, do and not they don't cap- capitalize on capitalize them. on yeah. one of them would be um santi's final rapid champion fi- final champion which one? Santi's final champion. Rapid fire, even. You get so right. like with, with final champion. If you had done like a remix with like somebody big and mainstream, yeah, like maybe Olamide or yeah, or um, who now? I think for final champion maybe Olamide, yeah. But bro, I would have gone. I would. Have, I would go for. I, I don't even. I don't. Someone s- that would have brought street hop. I don't. It. I don't think there's mm. the person yeah. that even now they can still put the motor on that song and they can yeah. do well. So I use oh okay. yeah, put all the money and all that on it. Somebody that has that street, that, pop, street that energy pop with all so, the so, energy. So, so yeah. that's the, it's the lack of the streets. Eriga. Yeah. So like now, part of the problem they have is a lot of the mainstream people have stolen their aesthetics. Guys, Do you understand? Wait, a maybe lot. not stolen, gotten inspired by the aesthetics. Wait, now and that's number one. Number two, all of those people have stolen their audience, and the problem is. Well, welcome back, welcome back. If you're just joining us, this is Zero Conditions Podcast. If you missed any of this, please join us on Monday. Full video and audio will be out everywhere. Stealing their aesthetics. God inspired by the aesthetics, okay. right? Because I remember, again, I'm going to quote TZ. TZ came on the Loose Talk podcast in 2019. Plan is always quoting that particular episode. Yeah, because it's that very was, important. It's so profound. Very, very it's very important. Such a profound. Like he said, he said, what people call out there is just lifestyle for TZ. It's Jersey. culture. It's just lifestyle. Like, And you can see, that's, and it, I was shocked when I found it. That time I used to say Naja, right? I, went, I wanted to go cut my hair. Yeah. And I saw a guy dressing like or dress, like them alter people with the faded jeans, the retro, the dirty, the dirty sneakers. Tiny shirt. Do you understand? All of it. Without dirty Remember sneakers, when they even started saying that um, Shetakperi Shetak 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 shorter. Shorter, exactly. But wait, guys, I don't, this dirty sneakers thing, I think people really pushed it. I don't no, think, I don't was, think they were was, intentionally wearing dirty sneakers. Was, uh, maybe it wasn't okay. intentional, but it was a thing. Wearing dirty sneakers intentionally yeah. as a style. Yeah, it was a thing. It was definitely a thing. It was definitely a thing. Okay. So, like, now, because all those people have moved away in droves, they, at the time, there was a lot of people that aspired to be like them, like them Odusi, them Santi, them Lady Donnelly, right? But now, a lot of those people are now making music that they mainstream. But they're not using their aesthetics. They are, they are using the aesthetics, but maybe the, the videos, music. or doing the mainstream music. And now their audiences have gone to other people. They don't have new stars. Tw- five years ago, Bloody civilian would have been a star in the hotel movement. 110 percent, 110 percent. But now there is the, the marketing is not there as much to make it look like hotel because now you want bloody civilian to be to look like mainstream. Guys, yeah. are you sure that the people who enjoy the type of music they used to do back in the day, like when I say back in the day, God, literally it was just like how many years ago, the kind of music that hotel artists used to give us. Are you sure that, that that type of sound, the kind of pop songs that we have now, would attract those people? May I? May people I? who used to listen to people who used to listen to Santi, who were big fans of Santi, who were big fans of Lady Donnelly, you know, like Connor, Connor, like all those kind of you know music, yeah. will now move, not for the aesthetic, so find some sort of similarities in the songs that we have in the pop space now. The first problem is that the first problem is that you don't get a chance from the general audience to even check you out 
if you don't make first of all what they what they enjoy what they enjoy so when they have that from you they now go in and dip your catalog do you understand like fireboy has bedu and fireboy has some great r b cuts and we appreciate all yep. across board yep uh-huh. do you get he has afro beats he has he's even afro beats he used to catch us jealous i i believe was his first hit he's the same guy that has songs like like, like I, I do, do. and i still the big fireboy to do that like i do does not have a video do uh-huh. you get so like you have to win the audience first so what happened with them is like they want their community 100 percent they had that community on lock time to scale up and make it bigger they they, they didn't some of them were even of the opinion that they, they didn't, didn't need, need the, the mainstream, mainstream machinery audience. yeah that's what yeah they some of them were of that opinion that yeah. they didn't need the mainstream mainstream machinery mm. i mean to, and that's i think that's the, they had a mentality problem they had a mentality problem they had a they had a they had an ego problem and it allowed them intentionally or unintentionally to alienate themselves from what they needed to become. Mm-hmm. Um, so a lot of people were looking at them like, I want you. Like the moment people, the music industry uh, audiences are referring to you as I want you. Like outsiders. Don't, exactly. You don't start a chance. And they also embraced it. Like oh, they, they, were, they, they were it. outsiders. They loved it. They felt like they were rebellious. They felt like they were doing something. Like how in the world would someone do a video for Kona Kona and go do activism? Do you really want to blow or do you not want to blow? You understand? So. Also, is there, so I saw a tweet that S got out and she's talking about this Barbie. That's a fresh up. So she put out the, let me read it. I don't know if you've seen it, except I think Talani has seen it. So she was talking about Barbie, the Barbie thing. And she, she put out something. She said, I need to know why I wasn't invited to this Barbie premiere and why I didn't see any Nigerian female artists there. Is it only influencers that get to go to events that music and art have yes. strong placement and obvious to? Can I be done? I'm genuinely very serious. That was the question that she asked. Let me tell you, let me tell you something. Before you, before you, before you go, before you go, take away Tiwa Savage, take away Simi, Yemi Alade, Arasta, Fave, no. Tenny, Fave. Mm-hmm. Let's say, like, the people with hits, right? Mm-hmm. What's the 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 next set of like people mm-hmm. who are moving in music? Mm-hmm. Them S gods, Roddy Civilian, there that's another tier. You know, S God has been out for me. There's even code F that is down, down, down. You get Gang-gang. now which of these people you are a brand, you have money, you are looking for audience to attract. Who will you bring? They have? Who, are you to bring? who are you going to bring? Now, I'm going to put that question back to you, Antolani. <laughs> I'm going to put that question back to you, Antolani. By if, the way, by the way, you have been disowned by Nancy. Shout out Nancy of Pop Central. I tell you that you've been disowned by sisters why? nationwide. That you say women are not accountable. <laughs> Nancy, I delivered your <laughs> message. Girl, <laughs> I have to say memo for you. We'll come back to that. Um, I think that... this is. I'm going to ask both of you questions again in response to that. I think that it is dishonest for us to say that you're putting out a brand, you're putting out, you're organizing something that is music related, and for your KPIs, your KPI, you don't think you should influ- you should include music how, people. How do you Why know that Barbie music Wait. related? Barbie. I, I mean, for, for, there was a music angle to it. But there's a music angle yes, to it. I agree. For the soundtrack. I agree, yeah. Platform no, no, latest like, um, um, playlist. The, the Spotify soundtrack the playlist. was very integral. Do you understand? Band. Very yes, music. But not here now. But not, yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree, uh, not here, did it? Well, not here, no. But, well, but here's here. the it's still, it's still heavy on mel- Melody, now. Melody. Guys, there's melody. a place. Uh, Big question. How do, number one, how do you know that all those people were in the country? All which people, please be specific. All the artists that she was talking about. All, the, all these major female artists that she didn't say, okay, she just said, okay, okay. Like, okay, why how, did they invite How do we know that they were in the country at the time? No, why did they invite one. her? Wait, <laughs> my nigga, the person doing the marketing probably don't even know who S God is. But like, they, that's on, that's not on her. Can I okay, talk on, on, on oh, who is it? Can I, on talk, who? can I say something? Melody, you are taking the piece. Don't don't play devil's advocate because you know you know exactly what we are talking um, about, guys. Um, don't play um, devil's advocate. Wait, no, no, okay, okay, wait, wait. Let me talk okay, now. Can a black man speak? Okay, Thank black you, man. Jerry. Thank you for the support, my brother. God bless you. I love bless you, brother. Um. See, a black man has it was a disingenuous t- tweet, man. Like it was just a disingenuous tweet. It was a d- disingenuous tweet that I feel like, in my opinion, 
I, I don't know S got that much, but the, the two, I don't even know why we're talking about her on this on this podcast to be honest. Um, but the tweet is very. The, the tweet. Whose phone is that? <laughs> this this cannot be real. <laughs> First of all, we are not cutting that. <laughs> Like Whatever how? That was, we are not cutting it. How? For God's oh sake! My God. Oh. Go on, go on, go on. Go on, um, So the number one, the, the only reason why it's worth talking about is what she said. I, I, I know in her heart of hearts that she doesn't think she's that important. I know. In her, in her heart of hearts. Two things. Wait, 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 wait. Let Lani make his point. Wait. Wait. Let it black. I know out. in her heart of hearts. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Let's just let it. Black. I know in her heart of hearts. She, she knows that she's not that important. I know. Do you understand? I, I'm very sure. I'm, I'm sure she put out that tweet for some form of reaction. Um, I hope. Because if not, I would be delusion on another level, man. Wait. Wait. That's just going to be delusion. And this black man to be done on that's, time. That's, that's, that's going to be delusion on a supersonic level. <laughs> do you understand? Like, all, all that support, support team with, they didn't invite any women. How do you know that they didn't invite any women? Do you understand? How do you know? Female artists. How do you know, yeah, no, how do you know that they didn't invite female artists? Did we see them on the carpet? No. Why? What if they did come? For that kind of event, for how do you know? We have a lot for of melody. You know, the, you know your, you know your industry. industry. If they say, if they let's say they invite you, out. okay, how much? Uh huh. You know your industry now. Uh, let's my, say they invite my, minus you. That. How minus much? that. Minus that. Excel. Do you know if some of them have shows that night? Do you know if they're even in the country? Melody, you know that a lot of the people that were invited were not even paid. Bro. Yes, now they just send them emails like we're doing this. Please dress in pink. Do you yeah. understand? People put yeah. up. I know like, people that were invited she, that did not go the reason, because they don't the have reason, pink outfits. The reason she asked that question because that's her aesthetic. We follow her on social media. You see that she does all of those. Hello, you know, let me tell Melody. That and that's the Melody. So see, if you if you are doing that kind of event, you should look at Melody. Just Melody. because Melody. Melody, she's not. She's special. not important. It's not. Her, it's not. We're not solving. We are not, this is Everybody not rocket is science. An amazing artist. She's just not influential some yet. Of, no, 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 Excel. It's not about influential. Some of the influ- She's not important. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. Some listen, of the, listen, listen. <laughs> listen, listen. Now. Listen. So let it black she's let me understand. Let me speak. Let, I, I, let want a, let I want to make you. I want to make you. I don't think it's sinking. As you can see, I'm for a black man, black woman. I don't think I don't. you understand that. It's not sinking. She's not important. You know. She's not important. You are not important. Nobody knows you. Can you say it in Yoruba just for? Koseyon to mo eh? Oh, why important? It's that simple. No, Tolani. Let melody. She's don't make a case for it. No, she has, you to, know. she has to. No, let me okay, say something. Some of the influencers that were invited to that Barbie event, yeah. speaking about um, Tolani saying that S God is not important, and they don't yeah. even have as much followers as S God. Good melody. She has more followers than melody. them. Good. She has better aesthetics than them. Did so what's your excuse? Did you see fresh? Did you see fresh? I saw fresh. No, may I? May I also? May I also respond to this? May I also respond to this? Yes. So let's break it down. Stuff like this will be done like by like PR companies, PR companies agencies. Yeah. Also, and they have... to align with, with PR. Oh companies. no! no. Oh. Oh. Allow me cook now. Why they? Calm uh, down. Uh, there's no Maggie in this thing now. You just calm, calm down. Come down. Alright, go on. Pastor. Yeah. Can you still hear me, please? <laughs> of course we can hear you. Yeah. So, marketing PR firms they're the ones that handle stuff like this. Yes. Like you get. Yes. And this will also be like this. Is, Barbie's a big movie. Of course it's Warner is. Brothers is doing the distrib- distribution, so they will have been budget whatever this is me being practical Facts. practical law yeah let's say the budget reach nigeria nigerian thing will happen budget go <laughs> you're gonna have no 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 mal no, you no, know no, 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 budget no, no, go no, no, no. Hey, yeah yeah that's yeah. the racket that's my scene tennis <laughs> <laughs> you get then there's also the place of this marketing and pr guys have people they have consistently used and work with that don't give them, and I need you to pay emphasis on this wahala. That don't give them wahala. How many followers does she have? Wait, no, no, what? no. Now nah, even leave that, leave that. Ask, melody, ask melody. You know that another interesting thing about social media metrics that PR people check is not always about followers. Like if you're a PR person and you are looking at someone's big following. That's not where it is. So bro, the real PR people know bro, is the bro, likes, ex, bro, the comments. Engagement. Yes, the engagement is where it Minus is. Minus that. So let's say you have ten thousand followers and only like you have consistently fifty people or hundred people. Minus that. Engaging. Minus that. Min- min- Minus that. Minus that. Bro, there are places where you go. People invite you because of your name, not even your engagement. It's true. Forget your social media account. It's true. People invite you because of Just your name. Just 10k followers. 
And guess what? That's fine. Guess what? Do you understand? They all these people they invite. You saw the the, the pictures, videos were everywhere. They invite people they know will make videos, Melody. content, Melody. and posts. Let me Is ask that you a the question. right way to go about it? Yes. yes. Melody. Melody. Wait, no. Melody. Let's no. no. Wait. I broke it we down for you. We can't be having the same faces at the event every year. Why like, not? Why? You like, see it in Hollywood you all need the time. To, you need, you, wait, you need to expand. It's the same faces no. in Met Gala no, no, every year. No, 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 no. It's the same faces in Met Gala, Rock But you have to be inclusive. You have to update your You're inclusive for what? What are you bringing? So you add new people to the list? Melody, you have to understand. We can bring you value. Wait, wait, wait. Why do you think they invite people to events? Why do you think they invite people to events? Why do you think they invite people to events? Of course, they invite you to events. They feel like they have something you're bringing to the table. Like what? If you have, if you are bringing value to them, now. Melody, Joe Body was not invited to the, um, this guy's brunch in the house. Michael, my uh, Rubin. Michael, do, do you know who Joe Body is? And he de penam. He de penam. He de de pen Joe Body. <laughs> Guys, you are not important enough. See, in this life, learn to understand your level. It's not. It's just not. Work harder. No, but, like, just look at it. Work harder. Negative energy to feed off. And do you, work do you understand? Harder. Like. Talk to Michael Jordan, pick something, get inspired. The same way, the same way we say that. Can I, you people, let me talk. I'm we tired. Are tired. Hey, yeah, because you are saying nonsense. Hey, don't be a black bit to me here. Yeah. Did you hear Talani said? Did you say yes, did you're did you, did you Talani insult because me? Because you are being, you are, you are did playing did, around did, the did topic. Did you hear Talani insult me? Can I say something? What? Ah. Motoran did not insult you. He said I'm saying nonsense. Yes, you're saying nonsense, nonsense though. Said nonsense. That's not an insult. It's not an no. insult to your personality. It's an insult to my sense. No, to what you are saying right no. now. That my sense is not available. You like, are saying you are not saying you are not saying because guys, melody, you know better than this. You are just playing. You are playing. Can so I say something? Things. Can say, I say, say something? Say, say. My, my black sister, yeah, I preach. I feel like Tolani is being very, very. You are more Tolani side. Tolani is being very, very weird with his response because you know there's an entitlement in the tweets we have conversations we've spoken about it here you know on, on the pod mm-hmm. in the past that there are certain there are certain positions in the music space that are well it does as god gets invited to all the listening parties in this, in this industry that's in listening parties answer now how will i know oh you go you they go you they see them for every listening party where you go now all the music events where they go now you they see them. Does it make it? And I see the music industry. She's an artist. <laughs> I can't stand Does this Does she boy. perform at all the events that you know? Does it make it bite? Does it make it bite? You are saying nonsense, my guy. Does it make it bite? You are saying nonsense. If, wait, guys, like, wait. Does she get invited to all, to all the events in the music industry? Sorry, Allah, 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 Allah talk. Allah talk. Allah talk. You are making the case for nonsense, No, 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 no. no. Allah, you are pissing me off. Allah, you know vex. Allah talk. You are pissing me the fuck off. Melody, go, go, go. Melody, go. Producer, please. I can't tell any excuse he said. <laughs> like, go, go, how can go. someone say, <laughs> why was it I invited? <laughs> Who the fuck are you? <laughs> are you normal? <laughs> Producer, <laughs> can you call a recess? Okay, back to what I was saying. Yes, dear. If th- this is how I think it should work. If you have an, if you organize an event yearly, right? You, yearly you have this event. Well, this one time is Barbie. I'm not talking about Barbie. I'm saying and the marketing you. budget of Barbie is, a, is like, it's like 100 million. About 150 million. million. But I'm, ex- I'm, I'm expanding the conversation. And they want to make money. <laughs> Yeah. I'm explaining the conversation. Yeah. Italy wants to be pragmatic. Let's, let's look at this thing from all. No, did you see the people that were tweeting about Barbie? Fancy account on Twitter most tweeted about Barbie. Be- be- most of them don't have better aesthetics Melody. than Esgos. Eh. They don't have the Barbie. Fuck the aesthetics, my G. Mel- uh, Melody. Fuck the aesthetics. Melody. 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 Just because you are dressing, wait. Just because you know, wait. Don't just my show. Just- <laughs> <laughs> don't try. Don't try your life. Just be. <laughs> No, ah, wait, 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 ah, wait, 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 Melody, why have you not been to the Met Gala? They you didn't know me. Exactly! Why just like I'm going to, ah, is it my friend making, why just like, uh, Met Gala? Melody, oh. why have you never walked the wrong, wrong way at GTB Fashion Week? Ah, uh, ah, uh, do they, am I, do they know Exactly! Me? Oh, God, that's my, because you're slim, it's not me, you wrong, walk the wrong. Do you understand, why have you not walked the wrong, you, you dress well, you are slim, you've modeled before, you have experience, look at your shoe, cock shoe, <laughs> look at how you're dressing, see you are fine babe, see your face. <laughs> Tolani, you understand? Tolani, let me make this point that I've been begging to make. Please make your point, Excellent. please. If your friend starts again, can you help me hold him down? I will literally hold him. Thank you. Two things I want to say. If you organize an event yearly, if you organize listening parties, if you if you run a company and you organize event yearly, what I would expect that you would do is that every year, you go back to your drawing board and you include certain people that were probably not there before. A year before, do you understand? To bring what value? It, it makes no sense if you're constantly organizing, if you're organizing events every year, maybe like music events every year, and you you keep saying that you have to invite the older, the, the same people year in year out. Because even Met Gala, they include people at the time when Cardi B was in because they are important. She, you know, she was not always because there. that is Cardi B. Melody. She wasn't always Melody, there. That is Melody. Cardi B. No, 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 no. New people Motorani, are added to this Motorani, list. Wait. That's one. Secondly, we can't no, say. No, no, no. This one you said. Can I just ask something? Melody, wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay, okay. Say, 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 say. Sorry, sorry. Let me just say your second point. Say your second point. Say your second point. My second point is 
it is you also have some responsibility as an event organizer to also be inclusive in your list. Okay. The same way we say that. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. That's second. Then also we talk about like music positions and we say that it's logical. That like logical thing that oh sorry, these positions are better handled by music exec, like by people who know music, like mm-hmm. positions in certain labels or something. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've talked about this before. Yeah. About it, that it's always better when you employ people who know the music. If you're organizing an event that is heavy on music yeah. it makes no sense it's for not you. heavy on music maybe not heavy but music related or music it's not music related it is because they've got Melody. playlists they've got music it's not now. music related the mu- the no no it's a lie no. Melody how many people were at your birthday last year? I, I'm my friends now oh really? why didn't you invite anybody else? are they my friends? Exactly. Me, 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 why? Why? Um, why did you invite your friends? Because you're my friends. Because they and you were there to your life. And you're my friends. Exactly. Melody. Now think of about. I would like to add that at, on this birthday, Melody was high as shit. Facts. Now, ask. Now, and I had the best time in the world with my friends. And somebody proposed at your. At I the, always. And we went for the wedding. <laughs> I always had yeah. the best time with my friends. Yeah. I have now, to say that. Melody, think about it as friendship. No, let me get, no think about it as friendship. You're going too far. When you said there was no reason for them no, not to invite let's, her. Let's, let's go philosophical. No, you you shouldn't, and I'll tell you why. Because Melody is a very intelligent person. She knows what she's so talking Melody, about. Let me tell you what you are doing. You're just pissing me that, off. What you are doing that is funny to me. You know very well. Yes. That yes, nobody should do an event where it's the same set of people. They facts. I agree. Here. You also know for a fact that nobody does that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No no, 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 no. People actually in, 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 improve, improve and improve. That's where I'm going. Like, that's that's that what I'm saying. That she knows that nobody does that. Does that. This yeah. thing she's complaining about, nobody does nobody it. Nobody does it. Every year, people there are fall people, off. There are people, people coming back. in yeah. into yeah. pop culture. Yeah, that were not there before. Some relevance. Bro, do you know where the to go this Look at, look at, look at, in like, in like music conversations now. This is our friend. She's beginning to have a voice. One what she calls. Yes! You understand? People are not adding her in some music, music conversations and, whatnot, and it's right because she's beginning to have a voice yes so the same way people that are having a voice or something or are in, an influence in some way they get added to these things right mm-hmm. these are situations where you look at yourself and say first of all that the, the tweet came off as very entitled it is very and a there's certain type of Excel, way. No, no, why no. the brilliance of it why the brilliance of it looking you like made feminism shit she is, made it like uh, other female artists you my know, nigga shut the fuck up but women need better representation Sha. but <sighs> see my brother Melody, Melody I'm sure the representation of wrong, women yeah. at that show was higher of course of now course. what are you of saying course. I said in the music industry now. but bro see Melody Melody, Melody, yeah, Melody yeah. Uh, the, the issue in this in this particular situ- because situation because this vibe is, is really it's really, really women Melody how do you know so Melody, how do you bring Melody you bring can I ask you can I ask you a simple question Melody can I ask you a simple question can I ask you a simple question Female artists or not, Barbie is the one hundred fifty Nigerian female artists attending this year or not. Mm-hmm. Barbie is a one hundred fifty million dollar has a one hundred fifty million yeah. dollar marketing, marketing budget. 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 Yes. If you Google anything about Barbie, it's Google pink. goes pink. Yes. Yes. And yes. Like they've done some crazy shit with the marketing. They are making their money. It is only this is not capitalism talk. It is only if we are bringing Tiwa Savage and we know that. See what Savage is going. Bro, do you understand? We really need. This is Nigeria. We, bro, anything that the West is doing, we are lying. Do you understand? We are lying. Nigerians are going to. I I went to see Oppenheimer. I saw girls that came to see Barbie wearing pink. Spotify has a playlist for Barbie, just in case you don't know. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? If they didn't premiere that movie in Nigeria, they wouldn't feel it. Is that they wouldn't have? (laughs) Do you understand? No, 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 no. no, You need to understand. It's the truth. If they didn't premiere that movie in Nigeria. They are not going to fucking feel What's it. the percentage of the Nigerian population now, that is going to the movies? Uh, well, like, the, the, you're naira against the dollar because they are calculating no, your money against dollar. Guys. Now, wait, wait, wait. Now, they are, if, they're not, if they're not ranking the importance of Nigeria, people that should come from Nigeria, like artists, movie stars, influencers, people that can actually move something. You understand? As an artist, your music is not popular. There's a conversation to be had people, here, Melody, that you have not gone to. Bro. I wish you went there. Which one? Is that... A, this is such a great learning curve to show that artists this with PR companies. No, not even no, that. No. Like 
there is a place for artists to be more embedded in culture and in just general. yeah yeah of course do you understand yeah instead of like operating Excel. in your Excel. yeah I don't, I don't want to i don't want to say that do you and, know and why? building of brand I don't, I don't outside of your music which is what i think that she's she's no, just, no! It, doesn't, it doesn't even need to be outside of your music no it doesn't melody. even need to be outside it's like of your music. it's like saying i started recording today and i should be selling platinum records that's entitlement do you understand no, no, that's entitlement music. melody do you know I don't want to say. Do you know what I had to do before I started getting to getting invited to events? Do you know how, how long I worked in media, bro? Yeah. This is not jokes. True. Put in your work, man. True. I do events. Maybe say all I did, bro, was, was bring camera. Do you know how many light. events Excel did yeah. as, as a host that I didn't get paid for? Yes, for free. For free. Yeah. Mm. The first time me and Montolani met was at an event. Was at an event. I was I was interviewing uh, Bonaboy Bona Boy and Giant. Satan. And even at that point, I had arrived. Bro, at that point I felt like I had arrived. In one night, I interviewed Bonaboy <laughs> and Zlatan. Zlatan now posted the picture on, on Instagram, social, and every, the next day everybody was tagging me. I felt like I had arrived. Compare, you understand? Compare me so then to, to now. So let me. So when was when was the first time you met me? Um, Who cares? Uh, <laughs> Twenty nine. We all met 2019. Yeah. It was, it was the po- you guys' podcast recording. That's yes, sir, we had one uh, with like Motorani. Yeah. Different like Shego. Exec, Shego. So it was yeah. like you met me. Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember. I can't remember how I met you. But I know it's podcast too that brought. Yeah, brought you guys. You met Yeah. Podcast. Actually, yeah. it was podcast. Yeah, it was podcast. It was, yeah, it was it was podcast. But it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. So, so you guys love me, right? Do you guys love me? No. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's cool. Right now, I, do, I can't, like, you are supporting rubbish. <laughs> you understand? Women need you better, being, women need you better being, representation. You are being disingenuous. Women need better representation. I don't disagree. Yes. But Melody, women were, I'm sure, women were very well represented. Yes, they events. were. I, I mean, I said women in the music industry. Melody, I, if you, if you, if you, it's, like, it's like how people were saying that. Who did the PR that? for that event, Excel? Um, we need to find out who did the PR. Maybe we can get the guest list. We have a call. A call? Somebody Somebody called. is calling in! Somebody called. Okay, what's she saying? What's the producer saying? The it has gone. Not. That's gone. Why Somebody are they calling in? You guys no, 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 no. If you are the one, call back. Call back. Oh. If you are the one, call back. Call back. Call, call back. Oh my God, it's about to be so chaotic. Oh, yes. Oh my God. I'm a Barbie girl. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we need to be, we need to have a broader conversation no, when see. it comes to. Well, well, there's no broader. I'm sure, no. I'm sure for me, like this way. No, 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 no. I don't want to finish because I was talking before. Okay. You relax. See, every time that it's only when you're talking with you. The wait. call has like, come back. You oh, guys. Yeah, let's go. What's yeah, the call? Connect us. Connect us. I don't want to hear this. Connect us to the call. <laughs> Hello, Hello. Yeah, we can hear you. Hello. Yeah, we can hear you. We can hear you. Hello. We can hear you, sir. Ah. I'm sure that person is very invested in this call. Network. The guy. Please call it. back. Please call back. Hey, Jesus yeah. Christ. Call back. See, guys. Hey, hello is sounding edgy. Hello. I hello. feel like when it comes to this involvement oh, no, of people no, no, no. in... in I was being... talking. Okay, Excel, yeah, sorry. Ah. Sorry. I, I thought you were done. We need to, I need to get the PR company that, that did this. We, we need so to find out. I need to find them. Let me even say... Because first of all, they did a great job. Do you understand? They did a great job. They did a great job. I'm sure they invited. There is no way they would have made that list and they didn't invite Arasta. Or even Nick. There is no way. Like, Melody, there is no way. You know the truth. The truth is, artists are very one dimensional, I think. Yes. When they are on the come up, even like, if I see an artist now, like, let's say a brand will come and say, oh, we want you to be on this, right? You're not real. Your first question is, how much are you paying me? Let's say the brand even says we don't have money what's, to pay Even you. if there's no, what's my what's my benefit of being here? Do you understand? Does it benefit like, me? Is, it, is it truly be, artists don't want to do that? It's like no, you see somebody that is literally emerging, truly emerging. They're like, oh, they're not paying me. I'm not doing. No, that do shit. you know the amount of events my you nigga, stab? Hey. Yes, no. Do you know the amount of events you stab? Yes, my nigga. Guy, do you know the amount of events you stab? Like, and that's you guys. I'm sure they invited a lot more people to that event that they show up. Because they would have thought, what's my business going to? I will see it when I want to see it. Do you get? Anyway, you guys, you we're, we're, we're going on a break. Mr. Caller, call back. Oh, call back. We really want to hear you. We're going on a break. This if you miss like any of the chaos. conversation, catch us on Monday. See you. Bro, like, there's a, there's a place for... There's, 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 we need to stop kicking against entitlement and delusion in this industry. It's a hope. It's, it's, this, is a, this is a big problem. Walk in your way, man. It's a, it's a big problem in this industry. Even... T- bro. It's a big you are, problem. You are, like... People forget. She um, People forget history. Bro. 
People forget history. Chilo was hustling in America, writing songs. Do you think it's forget history. Beyonce that's blowing today, she has been... Pra- Since Beyonce didn't go to a regular school with other kids. She was yep. homeschooled throughout her life, I think. The social media age encourages entitlement so much. So much. And I don't want to hear anything about representation. I don't if give you a walk shit. And you bring value people to, are the going table, to People are going to invite you. Appreciated. There is a place for representation, 110%. Ah. I agree. We are not sure giving you representation if you don't have value. On, on Fugazi. This is not for the because Christmas. You can, because, you, because you can dress. Yeah, this is not for the Christmas. You can dress. Bring value oh. to the table. Chevy, we saw, we had a conversation, three of us, about how a lot of companies fired the black women they hired yes. like, to be yes, now. the head of uh, head inclusivity. inclusivity. Head of black, rep- black head of representation. No, there's a name for them. Oh, it was it, Before it was... Urban something. Head of inc- I shall know that the head of are inclusion. Like, they fired all of them. Like different companies are sacked. Fired all of like them because, bro, it's not even for include include. If the person that you are including, no, no bring, bring value. value for. Do you understand? Bring value like, to the table. Bro, exactly. And guess what? Sometimes I hear there are certain things that have happened. I'm not even going to front. There are certain things that have happened. I say, ah, why this thing no reach me? I should have been there now. People yeah. did there no reach me. And I just say, okay, no wala. I will, I will, I will, I will work harder. I'll put in more work and I'll just and you yeah. know go and walk. Do you understand? Like it's, it's really that, like if you don't know how to walk. Is it raining? It is yeah. raining, yes. If you don't know how to walk, then know how to kiss us. Do you understand? Like know how to align. It's one of those two things. You can't not know one and then be coming on Twitter to complain. Who gives a shit? Like my the the best reply, and I think fa- fresher, maybe because fresher, they are. So I saw it. I can't even law posted it. That's yeah. why I saw that fresher. Um, oh, who posted, that. He posted it? the whole. I can't even law on okay. Instagram posted oh. the whole thing. Oh, how tweets fresher. And response. what was what was his take? Oh, he supported oh, fresher, one hundred percent. Fresher, 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 bro. Fresher gave a very balanced, bro. To be honest, fr- fresher is, is a better man than I am, bro. I for knock your soul. I'm, like these days, I'm just I'm not inclined to knock people again. Like when I was still in my heydays of knacking, mm. you for collects because but, all stupidity but, is. But that. you are still knacking on the podcast. No, bro. It because I mean this is my platform, you know. Yeah. I can say your friends are like, here. Like, you like me. Really... But melody, seriously, like yeah. Do you understand? Like when I hear you. So when you're on the come up, the work is even on you more to align. Bro, not people that do you understand? It's not the marketing team that will come and be finding you. Do you understand? But it's also okay whether you're on the come up or not to have certain conversations, and if you also allow. That's she wasn't having a conversation. You're also, allow, also allowed to melody. not feel included she was not and, and say that because generally, when it comes to events, there's a, there's a way we move in Nigeria. Melody. Same set of people, same. Usually in music spaces, we need music people in music spaces. We need music people. It wasn't in music a music spaces. space. Melody, I'm not, I'm welcome generally. back. Welcome back to the pod. We are still on this Barbie matter. Yes. I'm tired of Tolerney, but I, I guess we're done. We're done with no, the Barbie conversation. Not, we're I'm not done. We're not done. Okay. We're not done. I'm not done. Yeah, like, never, I will never be done. <laughs> Me too. I will never be done. I'm, ju- your I'm own just done. getting started. Did you guys, did you guys listen to the Jealousy by Caribbean Offset, the new single? No, but I, I, uh, I didn't care. I didn't care since the role. Tolani does not like Caribbean. I don't know why. What? No, Tolani like Oh, you don't care for Caribbean. Who is your fave? Your fave female I, rapper? I don't give a shit. Um, These days, Rhapsody. I love Rhapsody. I love No Name. You love who? Rhapsody. I love No Name. What do you think about this? I love Lato. I think Lato is a very good rapper. What do you think about this Cardi B and Nicki Minaj thing? Okay, let's move on. Nobody what cares. are you? Why is he? He's 2023. He's like, you still like 2023. <laughs> God, you guys no, are so cares. annoying. Like, who, you guys are so annoying. The two of them are mothers. Like, get the fuck off the internet and fix your bullshit. Like, come on. Who cares? Man. I think the new one is even Lato and Nicki Minaj. Yeah, Lato That's was dissing. He was, she was subbing Nicki Minaj on. I mean, to be honest. Why is Nicki always in all this fight? Like, girl, get Nick, a grip. <laughs> I think it works for her. I think that's how it thing. does it. It has demystified her way too much. Yeah, I did. It did. Has but Nikki's demystified her. comeback has been very good. Yeah? Strong, though. Has it? Yes. Yeah? This has, been a, this has been a good what? one year for Nikki. What? the past one year, Nikki has been strong. And then this Barbie song. God. Bro. Did you guys see the Press Gaza story? I was trending on social media. Oh, Follow me to Gaza. First is first. Gaza. Let's talk about Offset and, Offset and Cardi B. First and when they said, do you say you don't wait, talk wait, about wait. it? Wait, wait, wait. No, no. I never said that. You said, what do I think about Cardi and Nicki. Yeah. Um, no, Cardi and Nicki. Offset and Cardi B need to get new PR people, new publicists. That rollout was horrible. They need to get new PR people. Do you guys, think, you guys really think the rollout was horrible? Absolutely. Was horrible. That Offset came and said, oh, um, this woman cheated on me. And she now said, oh, I didn't cheat on you. 
They need they, they need new PR people. Then you not get one week or two fired. weeks. Then you not drop the song like. like and to be honest, people were already saying that, that that what they were doing at the beginning was. It was. Or you argue. Yeah, right. I was PR. arguing. It was obvious. It's not PR. the first time now. Yes, no. I was it's like the fifth time that they've done it. It was obvious PR. Like the fifth time. Yes. And it's lazy. He's always offset shit. Now they want, they wanted to flip. The See, tables. please, PR people in music space, and this is also even here at home. PR people, people, marketing people. Like I know it's hard because thinking no, of no, creative it, ideas every other day. Let's let's be creative. I don't want to see any more rollouts that has people protesting that this artist has not dropped music in a while. <laughs> let's stop that what, thing. What about the one that we do in Nigeria? What's that? What's that, that reverse thing? thing? What's that? What's that thing? Reverse influencer marketing. <laughs> that one Stephen Fee that was fly. Good. That, that was one good. Stephen Fee fly because people are mad. So yeah. somebody can actually be mad yeah. and say. Um, um, Ladipo is way bigger than Olamide. The you hen, that's madness. <laughs> sure you get. That's madness. So, I person can really be mad. So, you, you, you I will forgive that. Uh-huh, you yeah. get. But all those, no, no, some... I will forgive you. No, but I'll... you are, you are allowed. But I can allow yeah. it. But some of your, Carry some of these rollers, your niggas need to, nah, everybody <laughs> relax. <laughs> and the worst part, I will, I feel like, are you people not on Twitter? Because people call, you, call them out on Twitter and say, this is obvious. You understand? Like, at least, maybe not the mainstream man that is not the uh, the the average man selling like pure water. But at least social media, where you are doing this thing for, <laughs> they are seeing it and they are telling you, my nigga, this is PR. We know. Like we can smell it. Yes, and I saw that thing first when somebody did it. But I think I didn't pay attention first. The second time was when uh, Mayoko was was about to do oh, back really? in office. Oh, and there was like people were like, uh, when is Mayoko coming back? I'm like. Ain't nobody niggas is hungry. Ain't nobody, <laughs> ain't nobody dollar is eight fifty. Carry placard for when an artist is coming back. <laughs> Who cares? Let's People come can't up with protest for Nigeria, yeah, bro. They didn't come up for SAS. What? People didn't come up for <laughs> People didn't come up for fueling. Let's come up with better marketing strategies, please. Oh Wait, are you guys say that for real? Nobody's gonna go on the street with placards to look for their favorite. For an artist, that's not me. Of course, I'm gonna do that. Like for which artist are you doing it for? Melody, you, you are Beyonce star. Will you do that for Beyonce? Yes, yeah, if you can do this for an artist and police actually shoot you, eh? <laughs> Why would police shoot me because for Nigerian police is Nigerian police. <laughs> Except Anything can happen. No, 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 bro. Nigerian police is Nigerian I'll, police. Why would they shoot me for carrying placards? For any reason. Maybe they saw you with placards and the. And they thought they, they saw the, blood. They thought blood. And the policeman get PTSD of answers. You're. You understand? Let's imagine they shoot you. You now come online and say, I was. Imagine coming online to tell people on Twitter, oh, I was protesting that um, uh, my favorite artist, Bella Shmoda, or do the Trulis new song, and they shot me. What, what, what would people on Twitter first tell you? Well, you just say you died for the, for, you died they for the art. That you needed more bullets. <laughs> or you are foolish. You are foolish. There's nobody doing so. And then wet you. And then wet you. Like, <laughs> Anyways, so there's nothing even with obvious. Like it's like people are running away from doing marketing that is in front, like in front of the audience. Like that's obvious. There's nothing wrong with it. Do it well. You understand? Like you can. Uh, what's his name? Joe Boy did put boss for yeah, streets. Yeah, that's put, one. Put people inside bus, bus to take them from location that for is expensive that was very thoughtful well. one very obvious marketing but it's good it works and it's thoughtful yes, don't come and be doing fake protest i don't want to see that thing again <laughs> your father asking for you where are you nobody's bro <laughs> where why is what, nobody have you seen whiskey dfc going out for whiskey what like if you? whiskey dfc can't do it willingly Every other person is to No, but basically they do it on social media though. Yeah, everybody does it on social media. Listen, what his point is, and I will give context because he's a poor staff, former poor <laughs> staff. When whiskey them, uh, when the um, loose talk had that yeah, whatever yeah. with with, with uh, whiskey. Whiskey FC pulled, they pulled up. up to pause. They literally pulled up to pause. That's the only fan base crazy like that. Do you understand? They literally pulled, pulled up, up to pause. pause. Niggas. Men dead. We thank the Lord. Osag was safe. You understand? That's the craziest fan base. 
So if your fan base is not as crazy as that, and Bro. I'm seeing them protesting for you, of course I to don't be honest, that I, shit. To be honest, especially when I don't, when I know you don't, you don't got no fan base like that. <laughs> what do you mean you don't got? You ain't got them like that. <laughs> you don't got no fan base like okay, that. Okay, so when wait. you know you have them like that, when somebody will say you, you are, your music is trash, and your fans will come and say your father will die. That's when you know you have them. So how many artists can boast of that kind of fan base? Maybe like three max. Well, Wiz, Davido, <laughs> Bona, Tiwa, Tiwa. Tiwa. Olamide, some of Olamide, Olamide fans too. Olamide fans, they are not as rowdy in a way. Some, just yeah, one or two. One or two. Yeah. But Bona fans have been going hard these days. I mean, it's the, it's the hottest African. But you know, it's like, and all these things are orchestrated. There are Telegram groups, there are WhatsApp groups. Yeah. You know. Yeah, line. Yeah. Meanwhile, I will never get over the fact that David said that one. Okay. That he activated people. That was just. Oh, the one that Davido said that someone came on here. Um, some, what was that? What did he because say? Because Davido, good or bad, he's been in the news. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me, well, let's Davido go do consistently. Bad news go come. Davido go come try. <laughs> Bro, clean up. Because. And then something happened. Put out like something on Instagram where they go look nice. You know, we shut down Toronto. We shut down Dubai. One of the baby mother go just activate. Say, yay. <laughs> <laughs> Those in baby mama, they, they activate. How about they you activate? Me. They then give them a little peace. They don't activate. They don't they like peace. He was good PR. Yeah, <laughs> come on. He was how? And you, I hear the funny thing. That man <laughs> has that man has literally been minding his business, but they don't want to agree. Well, honestly, he wasn't minding the business. Nah, man, man, my nigga. Wasn't oh, uh, minding the business. I mean, minding his. He business. was minding other people's business. <laughs> I've been minding his business with the music this year. Like he's just been, he's he has tried to just focus on only the music, but the extracurricular activities. <laughs> they are chaotic. It's fam. like no. They are chaotic. What? Like bro, that that particular baby mama, that woman. What's her name? Don't mention her name. I don't even know her name. Don't really cannot but that particular <laughs> baby mama. I thought one. Lani don't that use woman the word is hate. A villain. I can't stand her. She is a villain. Can't stand her. Don't use the word hate. 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 Don't use that babe is going to extreme lengths to prove that she's a witch. Ah! Oh, God. Totally no, no, you're no, being no, no, extreme. No, Melody. Melody, did you see the video that she dropped today? Which one? Well, that where one I shared bro. in the video where she said uh, ah. she was dissing Choma and she was That's like... That's the most annoying speak, and the most disgusting. I speak on this nigga. I speak on even his dead child. Bro! Why would you and say that? And yet he's still hitting me up. Let me teach you niggas. Look, the, the, the collar is back. The collar is back. Is the collar back? Why are we doing this again? Why do we have a collar? Hey, God. I don't, even, I don't know why you guys like chaos like this. What do you want the caller to say? Let the caller to speak. Why are you taking hey, a black man's voice? And, hey anyway, anyway, like that whole situation with that woman. That is crazy. Nah, that's that's that big. I can't add, bro. That big is ridiculous. <sighs> For the life of me, I can't. I there can't, is I can't dis- understand. There is a discussion. Please, uh, no, because this is making too much noise. Please, please can we? No, no more calls, no please. More calls. It's, it's not working. It's not working. Yeah, exactly. Very distracting. Let's like, you guys, say, send we'll, we'll, it to the. We'll work it out. Send an, an, email. Send an email, please. <laughs> Zero conditions pod at gmail.com. Yeah. We send your have f- a mail to read, so thank you for. Oh, okay, oh we do? Okay, go on. So, there is a thing that we need to discuss generally, which is like. Men. In general, this is not superstar or not. Men in general need to have and learn sexual responsibility. It's it's, it's so <laughs> it's you, you know what? Like this is not even because about this is not even about David though, away from David, like away from even being a superstar. The only reason that this can be handled in the way that it can be handled is because he's a superstar. He's a, a public figure. Do you know? I find it ridiculous that young men would literally give up like lose their family lose things that you built use structures that you've built for years all because you wanted to do agberry agberry like is sex that important i don't know i feel like sex is too irrelevant so, on the spectrum of things for you to be disgracing yourself like no, that don't you have like no, self-worth men, men, self-worth like some men literally don't have shame so i think it's it's tied to a lot of things I think it's tied to a lot of things. I think it's tied to... You know, as I said, you're going through things mentally. Who is not? No. <laughs> Menta- mentally, he's shiny. This um, mentally, he's shiny. I think, I think, I think it's tied to... A I think it's tied to a lot of things. Mental health make you go... Shut up for the women party. who just... Who, who like, <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, like, five five you just, five. Bro, like... I'm going to find... I'm going to find past where the thing was stressed out. Shout out to tech. Go on one or something. Um... 
So I think the number one situation is naturally, mm-hmm. naturally. I think society has permitted men for so long Bro. to be promiscuous. Right? And I like the fact that it's changing um, now. Like society didn't praise <coughs> male, Family. Se- male, no, male sexuality on the pedestal, like on the pedestal of morality. Like it places with of course. purity you know, culture. Purity culture, one hundred. Not for women, right? Yes. Not for men, as this for women. I, I agree. Mm. So an- the other factor there is society also rewards men for being promiscuous. Back in the day. No, it's still now. now. Society rewards men, yeah, because you can get girls, right? Like look at it this way. That's not society rewarding you. A sixteen-year-old boy and a sixteen-year-old girl. If a sixteen-year-old boy has a girlfriend, mm-hmm. your mother is going to feel like, oh my boy. Yeah. <laughs> You know, but yeah. if a sixteen-year-old girl has a boyfriend, you're like, why do you? Have, problem. That's so, culture. so the question is, who is a sixteen-year-old boy now meant to date? If he's not, meant I don't to understand. Older. you understand? Yeah. So, ex- so that it's that's a perfect picture. Now, that's number one. Number two, I feel like because of a lot of things, I don't think patriarchy is unfounded. I think it has a lot to do with the male who a man is like more dominant physically, mm-hmm. biologically, like all of these things. Right, the men can go to war. All of this, like, because of that, society physical rewards, domination. <clears throat> society, re- society rewards allows men permits with a lot of, exactly. What they men with a lot of a lot of, a lot of privileges. Yeah, and that permits. came with that came with patriarchy. Patriarchy, and then pet- something like it, like patriarchy then devolved into permitted sexual sexual promise. Irresponsibility. Right? Okay. Um. So when you go when you go at it critically, you understand that. Back in the day, a man that goes to war or that's like a macho, that's like a man, mm-hmm. guess like women are attracted to you. Men want to give you their children. If you have money, your people want to give it. Like it became a fashionable thing. Fashionable that thing. Is a, a sign of success Oko-ko. or of ferociousness. <laughs> <laughs> Please not tell us by moonlight. Let's not do that. Oh, sorry, it's for that part. Like having um like many wives is a sign of like prosperity yeah so, well right? a lot of men tired aspiring to that yes do you understand and being so, able to cater for and them and being able to cater for all of them yeah and also to add history, that that still applies today that if you're a man with a ring you can pull off oh absolutely young, pull off, pull off young some women ice. Yeah, yeah no, the right. ring thing so, they work. Like, and even a lot of, a lot you of wearing, women. You wearing you wearing it if perfume smell nice. Ah, and nice shoes. Ah, come on now. A lot of women. Is that a thing? Okay. Ask your colleagues in the. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I want to respond to him, but I want you to be done with your statement. Yeah. But I don't a, lo- want to... a lot of a lot of. Except like, shut because up. And Thank across you. History, my colleagues, you are history, history, goats. <laughs> history, history is bizarre with examples. My colleagues. Not just Nigeria, like in Islam, people were my in the Old Testament were yeah. my into wives. You understand? Like it's a thing. Mm-hmm. Like even women aspire to men that have a lot of wives because there's the idea that like you take care of you. Of the, that was back in the day, You understand? Really? So, this, yes. Like, above. Men have been nurtured by this leave idea. That, leave that. Above. That's that's You're a above. I'm I'm laughing. Laughing. No, no, no. We are Oba that has been that married like how many women? Oba of what now? Now you guys, young Oba. Is he Oba? Oba? He's not Oba. Oni. 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 Is it Oni? Oni. Oni. That's what they call. Married, educated women. Bro, fought fifty. Married an evangelist, a pastor. Women of beauty queens, though. Yeah. They married a beauty queen. Timber and caliber. Bro, How many of you are only of effect? So, men started aspiring to that life because that's what you are used to. And women also wanted to be in that those situations. So, a lot of men, as the world are evolving, where there was not like more enlightenment for women, women are started, started now working. I was about they, to say that now. Bring it more they started money, earning. Just staying at home. Yes. Like, Their you, confidence, self confidence exactly, began to rise. Yes. Right? I was about to say that now. It became. Paramount. It became paramount for men to also evolve. But the sad part of that is now, but we, but but we, we did in, a, in certain ways. Women they fight over arms. Now money, be you understand? Fine, but, like but. Women, hypergamy never left, even though, even though um, those society evolved, hypergamy never left, and it means that the man that's on a certain pedestal, guess the rule of three hundred men that we said on this podcast last yeah. week. Yeah, a lot of women still aspire to him, and the fact that a lot of women still aspire to you, and the fact that bro, let's not lie, women are beautiful. Yes, women are beautiful. If it takes a certain level of discipline for you to, especially men are ugly. I mean, I think men are ugly because you're a man. Men are men are not ugly. There are a lot of handsome men. So all this this example of women are beautiful is not true. No, 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 no. I'm not justifying. I'm explaining. I get you. I get yes. you. I'm also saying that from right. women's perspective. So, like, especially when you're not successful. Let's let's see. 
I never want to I, I never want to make it seem like I'm condoning it for, especially for superstars yeah but bro it's very hard for superstars, superstars though, I, I hear you when you say it's that it's very hard but we have a lot of superstars that are able to do this let me oh. tell you something Tolani is it that is it that they have not gotten caught there are some that I can no, even no, mention it. On we don't have facts leave yourself out of this please don't no let's be honest we, 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 we don't have facts 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 we don't know we don't know what happened please Becky with the book really? please and besides the entire time Kanye was with Kim we never heard that he, she cheated even though he's maybe he never got caught <laughs> anyways my point in this is I feel like the, the reason things started changing when he, like let's say in 2023 when we started having conversation about, about you know promiscuity not being applauded as much is because women started making their their own money women started having their own things women stop the dependence on men fina- why are you guys looking at your phones and laughing <laughs> I'm so, no, finish, 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 finish. you guys are gossiping something no finish alright women became more financially <laughs> independent and didn't have to rely on men as much so all of that conversation where men are promiscuous and they get to stay why are you guys looking at me like that Talk that. oh my god something is going on but it's Nothing fine is going on. my Talk. point Sha, is that the a lot of this is tied to a lot of men's promiscuity as in the in, in the past you should it used to be tied to men, women being financially dependent on them. So when women started making their own money and they started saying that, okay, you know what, no, I can't not pull, just that. I feel not like just it, that. I feel like it contributed. Not only it, it contributed. contributed. I think another factor. And is... now women are now more open to, you know, back in the day it used to be a thing of regardless of whatever happens, you have to stay in your mind, you have to exactly. make it work. That's women that's now are saying, no, I don't have to make it work. Yeah. I have to like love my own self. I have yeah. to like remarry. Yeah. I can find love in my first. I can. Yeah. Women are now more open to like starting yeah. life at every point. All of that conversation where it's be like, oh, you have to stay. You have to get married at your, when you're 21. Mm-hmm. You have to do this. Women are like, no, I don't want to do that anymore. And they're finding peace by themselves and just doing their own things. To and, me, and to me, two of you are taking this thing too far. What's the problem? Men should be sexually responsible because now them they bring the now the, the, the spam. The one, I think both parties are equally important. No, no, no. Let the man chill out. No, it is I, th- no, I, th- yes, I, I wouldn't say just see, not just not the Yes, I, that one I agree. One man can get like how many women pregnant in a lifetime. Oh, that's how the point you were making. Yeah, yes. like, my, ah, the point that, that you are the ones firing more. Yeah, relax. Say. yeah. Relax. But the reality of the matter is also like this, I want to read this thing for people. This is why I was laughing. Okay. A girl she said, I dated a man for a while and I was so unhappy. Nigga guy, was walking I, I've seen it. <laughs> around shirtless in my home. I love that guy. Opening <laughs> fridges. You know, I follow with, that guy. That guy is fire. Without, <laughs> the guy that followed that quoted that him. <laughs> opening fridges without putting one dollar for any of my bills. I felt like the wackest bitch ever. And so somebody co- quoted You couldn't handle a bad said, bitch. If you can't handle a body, just say that. <laughs> Then the tweets on that. Somebody said, if she won't do it, someone else will. Her. <laughs> someone is not said, is giving insecure. She must be an Aries. <laughs> God, the men you put on this earth to build arcs and go to war are, you know, being okay. These men are okay now it. with not taking financial responsibility in the home. Are you for real now? And then the, the one that also made my week. Um, somebody tweeted. It would be a big of the Super Falcons. Uh, oh, Falcons. Big of the Super Falcons. Somebody tweeted. Say, so there's a particular player on the Super Falcons. That is num- number 22. Hilarious. Her name is Alozier. Fine woman. God bless you, madam. Uh, somebody tweeted. Say, Before these weirdos <laughs> start to sexualize Alozier, please note the following. She graduated from Yale University with a bachelor's degree in molecular cellular <laughs> and developmental biology. First of all, why are you playing for the Super Falcons? What like No no, no. What I mean, doing that, it for the passion. passion. That one served day. So But to be honest, they're not someone getting, they're they're res- their money. Somebody now responded and said, bro. you and your fellow women did sexualize Maduka Okoye. She now said, okay, fair, fair. fair, fair. <laughs> that was that was such an that was such a, an old Befu. goal. Befu. <laughs> But to be honest, I respect the fact that that person admitted it. Yes, most love times, it. most times people people in, people in those shoes would have said, yep. yeah, "What do you want to do now?" Yep. Where yeah. do we see you on that? Yep. I, 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 I fuck with that. I fuck with that. Fence, but to be honest, fence. the initial tweet was just very funny because people that are fine are going to be fine. But you guys, let's, let's, let's talk about, about them owing Super Falcons, though. What is going on? See, NFL about the Melody. What are you? They, that means that we need. That means we need better sports minister. Melody. 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 You know we are on time, we are on schedule. 
there are things that we don't need to talk about. Oh, let's talk about why Nepa is not in power as light. There are things that almost that bro, they're the old male players, they're the old female players, they're the old coaches, white coach. They're the old like the NFF. White coaches with a fire, they don't give up money. Yeah, but it's not so we need better sport minister. Duh. <laughs> you know, it's not the part. What is this? That's another one I, I that made my week. The man I really want is way out of my league. And somebody quoted and said, as a woman, no man. That, that same guy. That same guy quoted it. What did he say? Did he say something like? I can't remember what he said. That guy is, is the oh biggest menace on Twitter right now. I love it. Oh I love that guy's account. What's his name? I can't remember. What's I should go check him out. I, I can't remember. The guy, see, listen, first of all, men, plenty, they pass your league. <laughs> plenty. Come on. Plenty. Uh. Men are easy to get. Easier to get than women. I yeah, get them now. But the point... <laughs> get, ah, get in, a now. lot of women, all you have to do... You'd yeah, be like saying, never go to a hotel on a good day. We're going to see all those bodies sit down for the Nobody restaurant. They they Maybe they're just there for themselves to have really? fun on a Friday night. Melody, Melody. Melody, you have been to Melody. see too much on this Melody, show. Melody, if Wait. you just were to come now... You are you going know to that hell. You know you are lying. Because he knows you know the truth. Ah, Melody, you know Melody, you know the truth. Melody, you know the truth. Melody, you know you are lying. Because he knows you know the truth. And the truth is supposed to tell you. So are you saying that? The are, truth, the lies You are bound you. for hell. <laughs> the time is, you are bound. Better repent now. But sometimes women just go to a quarter just to chill and half an hour. Those, those ones to chill. Day. Melody, women go out generally to chill. Yes. And, yes. and, and then, spend endless money. And then the money are, they finish. There are we'll particular runs, girls that come to a hotel. These two things are true. Yeah. Do they enter? Like, do they... But uh, they except, 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 except women, are, they... women are going to a hotel to chill. Don't sit in the lobby just chilling. Yeah, they all just sit there. What is happening in the lobby? What's, what's going what's on? What's going on there? Are you, are you, are you, are you... So, so what's a big baller? <laughs> oh, yeah, Jim, also. And he told you. Meanwhile, sleep case. Sleep case, I am looking for you. I lost your number. Brother, if you are listening to this, yeah. please, 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 let's talk. Please. <laughs> Another thing that ran me mad this week. I love see Nigerians. Nigerians. Banter. We are something else. Yeah, Nigerians. So I think Nigerians surpass, surpa- in terms of Twitter banter, Nigerians surpass. No, we are Americans. crazy. We're you know crazy. this, uh, you know when I knew this thing? Idea ball. Tiago, Tiago, Tiago Silva. Tiago Alacantara. Bro, that idea of all time. <laughs> nah, it was crazy. Like, even foreign countries, <laughs> people, <laughs> people from Western countries, they understood the joke and oh they, went, they joined God. in on the joke. Idea Go and other media platforms had to write articles on it. Are you serious? Yes. Now, you know of these loan companies, them, oh. that they use your phone number. Oh you use God. phone number to take loan, to register with email. The Nigerian police <laughs> has phone numbers that is used for calling in terms of emergency and stuff like that. They do? Yes, yes they do. Do they pick up? Yes. And the FCTCP Haruna Gaba had to come out recently to say, hey, John, Nigerians are using police emergency <laughs> numbers to obtain loan. <laughs> and the loan companies are now calling the Nigerian police. <laughs> Oh, me that. <laughs> but this all the money that they, let me know. Bro, uh, mm. bro, uh, bro, don't bro, anger me. Bro, it's brilliant. Like, don't anger me. They should, they whoever should take did that thing. They, 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 should, they should start paying the loan. The police should be paying the loan for the They're taking the pay. Oh they should pay the loan. Uh, they should pay the loan. It's so brilliant. I saw that thing and I was like, ah, now nah, wow. Anyways, have you guys listened to um, Take Live or After? I haven't. I, I, I listened just before it came out, a few weeks before it came out. Um, I saw the track list, yeah, so some songs that I, I heard before. The okay. time, like, the, shout out to Liz. Elizabeth. Yeah. She had like in a December. of people in December, yes. And Adekule uh, Gold played us like <coughs> maybe 25, 30 songs. You know, and we all gave feedback. And whatever. So when I saw the track list, I saw some of those. I've not played the album fully, but I saw some of like, Remember, Don't Be a Baby. Wrong person. Don't Be a Baby. Yeah. I, mean, I just remember. So, um, sorry. I think sorry is the one on that album. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I think I even played that one. Today I think. On I think. I think it's, it's a better album than the, than the previous one. I haven't played this what's weekend. Is my plan to go um, to Kiss Daniel and Adekunle? What's the what's the one I'm before Kiss Daniel? Daniel for but I heard that my G. I heard that just that song. He has snippets on on, on, Instagram. on Instagram. Did you watch that Kiss Daniel's <coughs> snippet on YouTube? No. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we were going on a short break, but we'll be back soon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you watch that Kiss Daniel snippet on social media? Was on YouTube? No, I didn't. Oh Which my one? God. Is, it, is it good? Ridiculous. What did he do? What like he singing? Yeah, that he used to announce the album like two days ago. Yeah, yeah I did it. Fire. Yeah, I did, I did, I did. I saw it. I saw it. Talking about not wanting friends. No, they are different. They are, they are, um, um, 
My G. The punchlines are ridiculous. The punchlines are crazy. That's the Jesus. My G song. Jesus. Then there's also something he did where for the rollout for the announcement where he has like a he goes to like a box of vinyl records and it's all his projects. Then there's then another he gets one. To, <clears throat> but there's another, there's another one. Another one. After this. And not after Maybe this one. Maybe that's the Afro classic. No, no, no. no, it's, no. It's, it's, it's a different o- title. O- Olo, Olo, some, I, some, I, we don't I, see it complete. It's hidden. Yeah. yeah. I think they. I think they said that one has been. That one was even meant to be the one that was meant to come before. The album before Tequila Ever After is um, Catch Me If You Can. Catch Me. <laughs> Shout out to Adekule Gold. I f- I feel like he's he's winning. Yeah. The the I love the rollout. Yeah, the rollout I was brilliant. I love everything Shout that to led. No, Adekule Gold, Gold is very intentional. It's, it's one of those very intentional artists that we have yeah. with yeah. his looks, with his sound, with very his marketing, with his PR. Big shout out to Liz and, and the rest yeah. of the gang. Yeah, the rollout has been ridiculous. Shout out, out Dev Jam. <laughs> shout out to G. The rollout has been bonkers. You are, you are an idiot. Excel, <laughs> you are a fool. <laughs> Because it's not somebody see shout out, shout shout out, out to, to the you. politics. Anyways, so I want to read out. It's, um, have okay. you guys listened to, to Utopia? No, I haven't. I saw your tweet about it. Uh, it's disappointing. Uh, there's something that I want to. Maybe when you guys listen. But I like, I like this weekend is my album. I mean, this weekend to listen to the album. Um, um, the other good. good. I mean, the, the Kizani, I'm reserving it for my walk on Sunday. Oh, yeah. but the only thing I heard yesterday night was Big Seven. Um, da, da, da. But I, what, what do you guys think is going to happen with the Bonham Brown? Um, so I told them he's he <coughs> is um, showing. I don't know why he went this hip hop influence I mean, route. No I mean, yeah, he does. Um, so I'm very curious. You see him see rapping at Naughty by Nature's event. Yeah, I did, I did. Yeah, I did. did. I think he's a hip hop man. He's, 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 he, he has even I, th- I think there was one of a Wu Tang Clan event. He was rapping. Wu Tang Clan, yeah, Wu Tang Clan event. And he was rapping. Yeah, and it was bro. Yeah, he's a hip hop head. Um, I think that I'm very interested in seeing that track list because I want to see the kind of collaborations he brought in for this like, project. Swiss uh, Beats. There's a clip bro, of Swiss Beats. Playing and unreleased. Playing at a party and he plays something unreleased, but we don't get to hear it. It's like five seconds. Yeah. yeah. You, you know one thing that's pissing me off about American producers? And then we know Burner Boy is on DJ Khaled's yeah. next album. And that's thing that's pissing yeah. me off about American producers. Especially like the legendary ones like Timbaland and, and the Swizzy them. Yeah. Bro, why is... That like Jonas is coming to you and you're giving them Afro beats. Bro, leave Afro beats. But they're also trying you to understand? tap into the conversation. No. No. <laughs> if Nigerian artists wants Afro beats, they'll go and get it from, from somebody. It's not you. It's not you. Do you mm. understand? Give me Swiss. May Bonna jump on that but, Swiss but, sauce. But don't you know, but don't you think that them, the producers doing that too, can feel like them not evolving? I get it. I'm not saying, I'm not saying, I'm not, I'm not saying it's stupid. Welcome bro, back. Just... We are back. If you missed anything, please check us out Monday. Hey, first of all, first of all, sorry, 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 sorry. First of all, all of you that listen to this podcast, all of you have to go to our YouTube channel and go and subscribe. Thank you Let's start much. from that. Go and subscribe to <coughs> yeah. our channel. You have plenty. I'm seeing the numbers. I'm seeing the kidney on the... Bro, you know, for the, for the back end, you think they show like the regions. There's a place that at the end, like maybe... 2,000 people in Nigeria. There's a place, one one person somewhere, but the place they write unknown. I say, <laughs> Shana alien. Shana, Shana alien. Walk for me. Walk for me to Mars. Shana alien. <laughs> ah, wait till they have I, And I, the US I, government has announced that they have alien bodies or something. Oh, but I mean, it's always been, it's always been. You thing. guys, let's not, let's not, let's not go off it and just talking yeah. about Swiss beat. I don't think that Swiss beat or the OG producers trying to do afro beats out of place because now we always always out of place. yeah but i feel like they ha- they have to evolve with the time afro beats is they hot. are just trying to key into the conversation i get it yeah. no, and also they are creatives they will want to try their hand yeah, my, pro- my, my thing is bro not only deep like, leave afro beats give bring bonner boy into your fold yeah. you imagine bonner on a proper song. Ah! Please be. Tambourine. Or, or a proper timbaland beat man they hear those tambourines all those drunk yeah. Yeah. so i'm very interested yeah. in seeing the collaborations but now yeah. we pull off on this for, body of work yeah i'm very very interested I'm, um he can i know we know he can do a drake we know he can like there are very few people, is very versatile there are very few people now that bonner cannot get i don't think there's anybody that bonner can 
I, 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 you the know way, what? You know, nobody. Maybe, maybe Jay Z. So one of the biggest rappers in the world are not, or Beyonce. Are not doing arenas like Bonaboy. Yeah, but Jay Cole is. J. Cole is not doing arenas like Bonaboy. Facts. And one of the big three names in, in American hip hop Like. Bonaboy is, is pulling arenas, though. You say correct. This, no, this it's guy is a Bonaboy fan. Is that, yeah. <laughs> like. Correct. I mean, Bonaboy is doing arenas everywhere. Yeah. J. Cole is, is not doing arenas. Even J. Cole is doing some arenas now. But five years ago, J. Cole, I'm not sure J. Cole was doing any but arenas. Please, can we give a shout out? Bonaboy's work ethic. Bro, it's ridiculous. Bonaboy ends the Love Damini Stadium tours. They're all stadium tours. Bro. By the way. He ended it Thursday. Friday, he dropped the album. He dropped new Guy. single and announced Guy. the album. What is that? But, but, I, but I'm scared for the point. Let's see. I'm scared for What? It. I don't because, see. Why? Well, okay, maybe it's a, it's a twofold. Let's it's see. a twofold. Going on tour like that can give you a lot of inspiration. Yeah. Or, it can, or, drain you. or it can drain you. Or can you. Draw, okay. it can drain you. It can drain a lot from me. What if he recorded it before the tour? Because Bernard Boy is one that takes pride no, in having no, songs I, in his... I, I, like I that he has Bonab- not dropped. Knowing, knowing that guy, I think he's recording on tour. No, Bernard Boy definitely will he's be recording. recording on tour. Whether those songs made the album or not, so Bernard Boy would have recorded on tour. You know Bernard Boy, Bernard Boy is a, Lil Wayne. He reminds me of Lil Wayne. He's a studio rat. He used to record on the tour bus. Lil Wayne used to record on the tour bus. I think Bonner Boy is. I'm excited to recording. see. I'm excited to see what's going on. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to, but I'm, I'm, what scares me is this is not even the height of this guy's career. No. It's scary, man. Yeah, it's going to be here I for a while. I think at this point, Bonner now will be aiming for Grammys outside that whole. Outside um, the, if they have given an yo, African outside category. Outside of y'all's little yeah. African Which, uh, categories. But, but not, not that. Not I, that I, I don't know if. But to be, I don't want to make projections again because every projection that, that I've made. I made five, six years ago. Shut up. Example. Like, bro, I didn't think we were going to have a top three uh, Nigerian, Nigerian song, Afrobeat song in, on Billboard Top 100 in 2023. That's the, that's the Rema Do down. you understand? Like, yeah. I didn't think we were going to even have <gasps> an SS in 2020, 2020. Or an Afrobeat category. Do you understand? Like, uh, all these things, they have moved. I thought so they were like fast. five, four, three, four years away. At what least. do you think about the Afrobeat category, though? <sighs> yeah, an Afrobeat category. African music Afro- category. I'm sorry. African music has it's a plus and a minus right it's a plus there's a plus and a minus to it so a lot of people have a problem with it because they feel like it comes screams African music like yeah. all of us are now fighting for for Zumba Lumba what do you, what do you want? it's not your award do you, do you want them to be doing Juju Fuji African music pop what I like do you, is that what you want them to be doing be but, imagine <laughs> no but, but that's it. <laughs> but you guys when you say African music now, for na- now, as Africans, as artists, as Nigerian artists, or as African artists, let me speak about Nigerian artists a bit. So, I'm not done now. I wasn't even done. Like, yes, so, you were kicking with your friend, doing a vivid imagination. Like, what do you want? What, what do you want them to do? Like, the question, the question of the matter is like, but a lot of people are now saying that why are people excited? People have to be excited it because a it's a marker for the growth, growth of the genre. It is like the genre is headed it, the genre of the continent, like a primary genre in America. Like it's major. So like genre, genre or continent? It's not. Like, it's not a genre. African music is not a genre. Though. So I'm sorry. The movement. Uh, the the movement is getting to a level. But that yeah. movement, the success, the getting that category is built on the back of the Afrobeat genre. Then why don't you just call it Afrobeat? No, they can't put it after this because, like, 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 so people are. If we are saying that it's piggyback, piggy, uh, it's piggy banking off of the agenda of, of Afrobeat yeah. of the movement, then yeah. it is only natural for them to get. But the they category. don't want to, like because no, rap, no, rap music will be again, emanating from Africa. Like Motolani, the most important thing you have been saying about or anything Grammys yeah. and Africa. It's not an African. It's award. not an African award. It's not an African award. It's an American it's award. It's not an African award. It just so happens that America is everybody's <laughs> Mokova as a big baller. <laughs> Mokova, they cover everybody. So they, are, they want to keep giving you crumbs, which is fine. You want to be fighting and be protesting and be and jump on Africa. It's not an African award. Well, it's not an African award. Well, at least now we have one award in Atlanta, so we're good. V. <laughs> <laughs> It's not an American no, award. Like, it's, it's an American please, award. Everybody, go and like, calm if, down. If they, bro, because. If they include you, they are just struck by the That is for Yankee never collect. They never collect Grammy. Now nah, you wait. Like, the... They call never collect Grammy. Ha. Okay, he has one with a fish. He has a, um, a with lot. A, a lot here, 21 Savage. Attached Grammy. <laughs> Nikki Minaj don't get Grammy. No, she doesn't. Yeah. She doesn't. Yeah. Maybe as a feature that's it. She doesn't. That was a feature that's it. Okay, guys. So now the conversation of, again is just to respond to that is that Africans, what we don't. As Nigerians, I think for example, Nigerian artists, we do pop songs. 
We do R and B. Tims is not an Afrobeat artist. She can do Afrobeat, but she's not an Afrobeat artist. She's R and B and so, but exactly. For so the sake are of the agenda, are you going to put that? Are you going to put down the African Afri- music? Yes, she's no. Is. She is already. But she should also get. In, she should also get fall under the pop music category. She should also fall under music um, Melody, record of the year you know, because of uh, the agenda. So Afrobeat is an agenda. See at yeah. this point. So the thing is, the thing is, it's a see, it's a step by step thing. Yeah, well, we are getting there. It's a step by step thing. You put it to calm down. Stop being entitled. Don't be like let's go, please. Right? <laughs> Move from global music category. Hmm? Don't let me. Like what you say? Wait now. Just like K-pop people know they get nomination with you for I mean um, Latin, Latin American music. They already get nomination with you for global music. They've sent him a moko and accepted it. Now Bad Bunny, I think Bad Bunny got an album of the year nomination last year, isn't it? You understand? It's a journey. Enjoy the process. Enjoy it. Can you understand? For the journey. Do you understand? And if you're angry, go and create African award that supports it. Do you understand? Where everyone is getting Fuji, big up, big up the African them. Like yeah. If yes, that's what you want. And even even you know artists that are you know even like artists that are complaining about the representation at at, uh, at Grammys, if they ask you to come for your Nigerian you one, you no go show. Do you like, understand? <laughs> you so not it's not give not you. A, it's a step by step thing. Start from your house. And to be honest, with the way Afrobeat is moving and flying off the engine, by next by year, next year we might be see surprised. an album of the year nomination. I won't be surprised. And we've been doing really good music, so I won't be surprised. But it's a conversation that can be had anyways. Conversations are always welcome. I don't, I don't think that everybody should come. <laughs> like wow. if you are angry, if you want to get no, go and jump to your. You see a Latin Grammy day, you can do African Grammy. You know, <laughs> literally is Latin Grammy though. There is Latin Grammy. Who is Latin Grammy? Do you know? Uh, oh my god! If that's what you want, if you that's the Grammy name that you want, <laughs> license it. You can do something with representation it. Everybody. Like if I hear that word again, I, by thunder, I will lose my, my fire. Shit. The fire. Smart team represent, As a champion. Is that not the roots? Oh, oh my god. You guys are you guys are absolutely today. annoying. Anyways, so um what are you guys most excited to see when it comes to the music? Anybody any new release that you're excited to hear or anyone you want to see drop an album so, drop a single? Um I'm waiting for John Bellion to drop an album. I, I thought that guy retired. No, I yeah, know he's not. He's just been writing up and down. I'm joking. You know, it's a day in money day. Publishing. Yeah, he's been writing up and down. I don't blame him. So, um, but he has announced that the album is 60, he said 70, 60, 70 percent done. So, I'm <laughs> like, that's the album. Utopia is a part I'm looking for. Uh, Mami has been going on about this. No, Utopia is a part of As usual, I'm looking forward to Drake's album for all my dogs. I can't even say. Because after Certified Lover Boy, I had sort of given up on Drake. And then that joint project with um, that joint what's project going on with, uh, with uh, <laughs> what's his name, Twenty One Savage. Yeah, no, it's really elite, bro. That was really, I think that's really top. Good. I think that's a, that's a top. That was really, really good. Let's run Drake's really out. Good. Drake's bodies of work. Ah, I think Drake's best project still remains. Nothing was the same. That's the best one. I think that's the best one. Um, what's the name of that album with? Um, I, if you already know this is true, really, but already, that project is aged well. Aged well. Aged well. Sorry, recently I listened to Adele's last album, 30. Mm-hmm. You I like it? Better. I like it way more now. I said it. Let's continue. Please. I like it Let's continue. Way, way more. Let's continue. I was going to call you and tell you, I forgot. I don't give a shit. I like it way, way more. Now. Um, like, There's a song now I really like that. That song crap, Is It Been a Harry Fraud production? It's called uh, My Little Love. Oh. She's singing about like she's she's talking about her son. She's talking about her son. Yes. About the divorce. Yeah, she's like having her. a conversation about the divorce. And she's like trying yes. to listen. Yes. That yes. song is brilliant. Absolutely that stunning. Is brilliant. I can't I love, lie. I love I love her though, but she she needs to she needs to switch up. I, 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 like, I, I, I love when she's doing thirty five, switch up. I or maybe even jump know. jump away from the numbers. Do title it like mother or something. You guys we can talk about this Presh Gaza and her sickle cell thing that happened on social media. Shout out to Presh Gaza, man. She only has one life. I saw that story and I kept staying away from it. Why? I just kept staying away from it. Why? I don't know why. I, I, like people, so I think maybe because of the kind of tweets I was seeing, I was seeing tweets like, "Oh, I'm so heartbroken by this. Oh, like it, it's not even me. It happened to. I'm not one of her friends, but I feel so betrayed." But mm-hmm. I was like, "I beg, make I know go feel betrayed or heartbroken." Too. But you, but you know about the press because I know, I thing. know a general synopsis. Yeah, <laughs> she raised this for her Her friends, <laughs> her friends, her friends raised money for her today. Blow, blow, transplant. 
And, and according to them, she allegedly. I'm hearing that. I've seen tweets like. Who is that person? I've seen tweets that the money was even like up to a hundred million naira. Um, I don't it's know something if that's million. true. It's something Allegedly. million naira. Yeah. Um, and that there was no bone marrow transplant. Yeah. There was Yet. no sickness even. No, she's sick. She has sickle cell. She's truly sick. Yes. And she blew the money. Yes. On La Vida Loca. <laughs> Wait, well, is it a thing of like, let me just die? Do you understand? No, no. people saying but, you know, that. Some people, some people can have um, sickness. There's literally a film, Queen Latifah and um, Elio Kuji. Is it Elio Kuji? Mm-hmm. Where the doctor tells her she has money, she's been saving money for to open a restaurant. Like, the money don't plan. The doctor tells her, you have an incurable sickness. And she's like, oh, okay. Fantastic. You know, she goes let abroad, me... she blows the money, like, she lives like a queen. But she's. Then they call her and say, oh, no, mistake. Eh? Yeah, yeah, that's literally the film. Eh? I'm sorry, bro. So is that what happened? Is that wait? I'm trying. Is that the case here? Like, she truly has a need for a bone marrow transplant. Yes, she does. She has and she so- chose to squander the money instead. So yes, brother. allegedly. Enjoy and apparently, life. she used to date my guy. Don't but, mention the guy's name. She, but she used to date my guy. Uh, yes, oh. the guy is very, very popular. If you mention the guy, you know the guy. Let's not do that. Let's not give him publicity. Is the person in the music industry? No, uh, but he's I big. Say, say that's not giving publicity. Like he's a bad person. No. no, but this is all over Twitter. I, I don't know. It's, it's what what do you say? What is it? Just no, I'm saying let's not say let's not say his name because people are saying that he's been going through it. His friends are talking about how he feels really sad because they've broken up, and he said that. Who's the person? Don't worry, somebody you know. Hey guys, he's going through it right now. Who is the fresh Gaza person? Don't you know her? I don't know. My brother, she's single still advocate on social media, and she's doing a lot of relationship ghosting on social media. Why? The mistake is ad- it's assuming that I know people. Of- <laughs> I don't be knowing n- niggas. Bro. Anyway, she's quite popular because she's doing this relationship ghost thing. Oh. Another one. <laughs> Advocate. First red flag. Relationship goals. Second red flag. Do do it. Another one. <laughs> yeah. Another one. <laughs> and she used to do um, matchmaking and all of that. And she used to do. Legge <laughs> 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 Like a Miami guy. Bro, like is a Miami. it real? Is that you guy know, real? Bro, 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 bro. Like, is it like a real that, bro? Is it a real person? Bro. Like, is bro. that like I don't get those things that I need to see a collab of Lega Miami and where's Don Blue? I think they took some of his Instagram account. Maybe he started making he's making a lot of money. Or maybe he got tired of reopening or something. Yeah. But not like a Miami guy. Is he real? Like listen that he says, like are they scripted or that's how he glitched. Wait, is that is that, is that like, guy is full on comedy? And he gets angry so easily, and that's that's his line. The one time when he talks in their abroad. The one time when he talks in their day. When a person can't talk in their life, say, bless. The guy called Enter Street, they show their abroad, they curse. He called they curse the guy. For your man. You know that? Bro. She was intentionally not going to certain places where you see like white people say, Oh, so people want to be Oh, you saw it, eh? You saw it. He was upset. He, he made like three, four posts to prove that he's abroad. I thought, I, thought, I, I, I thought he wasn't even based in Nigeria. He's a Nollywood actor. Oh, I didn't even know that. He started his career acting, the Nollywood actor. Oh, man. Thank yeah. you, man. That guy is... Bro. That no. is hilarious. Bro, bro, bro. Anyway, back to Gaza. So... <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile... And then she's up, also like up, a born again... Similar, similar situations, bro. One thing I didn't think I, I needed in my life was Gaza's Twitter account. Please, send Gazi me his handle. I'll check you. I can't check you. Gaza, literally. Gazi. I saw Tony's Twitter about Bro, uh-huh. Gazi's Twitter account is pure cruise. Uh, I saw Tony's Twitter Oops. about it. <laughs> yes, uh, her friends are so upset. Too. I thought the issue here, that means I read this thing wrong. You I thought did. the issue here, and this was me just like from random tweets I've seen, was that the bone marrow transplant was a lie. The the lie, the lie is allegedly she is that she was going to get a bone marrow transplant. She had no intention. She did, ha- she did. She still needs the bone marrow she transplant. She still needs the money. She seen, yeah, she still needs the But she trans- blew it. Yeah, she still needs the bone marrow transplant. Why did she the money on? Nobody, because she has blocked, you know, she blocked her Block. Is she in the abroad? She's in Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah. In this country. What is she? I'm inter- I want to know what she Somebody said that they saw a TikTok. She has taken down her social media pages, but they saw old videos of her on TikTok spraying money and having fun. But she's not even that kind of girl, to be honest, because she's like supposed to be like born again kind of person. So I don't know what happened. To her. Say, when money changes. Then she now people. put out a tweet saying that she's dealing with. Um, she's, she, um, she's, Wait, so born again? No, they turn up. Wait, you mean, wait, I don't understand. And no, 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 no. Some biggest turn up queens that I know at church, baby. Ah, uh, born again? No, they turn up. Which uh, what wow, would I wow. want? As only wish. But she she put out a, a, a social media response before the thing went like, you know, crazy. So she said that um, she's dealing with 
what she say she's doing? Mental, mental issues. yes. Come on, the yes. script. <laughs> the script. Um, the script. She said, okay, it's a very long part, but I'll just read. She said, I understand the need because my, her friends shut down the, the, the go fund me because they started it. Nobody started noticing that she was but moving. But she don't, she don't withdraw the money. They had made over eighty something million. But she withdraw the funds. They're giving now. her the money, so she they now stopped. People from donating, donating more. more. Imagine. Then she now said, I understand the need for my friends to clear. Nobody say Nigerians are not kind. Though. She said, I understand the need people. for my friends to clear their name from accusation. It's totally understandable. But also in this part of the work, it's hard to understand that mental is as serious as physical physical health. And knowing my depression, schizophrenia. Hey, come on. See the recipe. God damn. Something, I'm a, something, I'm, something ashamed to It's like Gnost- Gnostic pan. You know they use iron inside. Mental schizophrenia. They said that she, she, I'm looking for the one she said that she, she, she started doing um, she's op, 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 opioid, op, op, opioid, opioid, mental health, schizophrenia, and drugs. Yes. Come on now. She, opioid. Um, How can addiction. she be guilty, my lord? <laughs> How can she she's be not guilty? Fit. No, 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 no. She's not. You guys, let's not make jokes out of it. But I, <laughs> there are two sides to it now. First things first. No, I will make a joke. Over. What if she actually has schizophrenia? Now why she blew? Schizophrenia prevent that. Now why she blew? Why they turn up the money where they donate for? No, no, no. Well, why did schizophrenia prevent you from spending the money? Uh, why did it make you spend the money? Uh, Do you guys even know how these things work? Like, uh, there, there's a lot of hallucination. Schizophrenia is not funny. So when you were popping in the club, it was hallucinating. It wasn't real. <laughs> <laughs> pop, 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 pop. <laughs> You guys, melody. Somebody they do fraud. If they try rationalize them. <laughs> no, no, no. You guys, no. Mental health is actually really serious. Do you know that? So this, so this. <laughs> mental health, Yahoo. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what it's for? Someone to be dealing with sickle cell. <laughs> Melody, it's because she's not Yes. So she was popping in the club. Melody. She didn't look bad. You guys. I'm not saying. I know paranoia. I see police on the streets every night. No worries, you're saying. No. I know paranoia. Yes, sir. One person sick who said, I'm not making a case for her, but I'm just saying that this thing's happening. It's not easy. Do you know if. No, wait, Melody. Mm mm. Mm mm. Don't get us wrong, Mm -hmm. Don't get us wrong. You say. Mm mm. mm. What do you collect? But you you say money for donation. BM. Boom marrow transplants, yeah. I like how we. If you know how I was searching for the meaning of that BMT, bone marrow yeah. transplant. Before I understood that was bone marrow transplant. She's trying to, yeah, she's trying to do bone marrow transplant. Because sickle cell. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, collect money. It is something million naira. Money that will buy a house and some <laughs> change. Two houses. Can't be mental health. Some change. Say it's mental health. An opioid. Then half I can. Half, no, because of course you know that for the pain. It's easy for her to get. Yeah, but you can also smoke weed. Five hundred. What are you? Are you okay? They also say that she allegedly threw a, her birthday party using the money to throw a birthday. Two birthday parties, schizophrenia. Then last year. <laughs> Schizo. <laughs> Skizzy. When people are, when people, are, you guys. Skizzy. When people are going through things, yeah, bro. right? <laughs> From schizo to. <laughs> From Skizo to Oti Kwaso, the money don't finish. You guys are the worst. Skizzy. <laughs> I, I, for me, I think it's quite disheartening how in this era of people struggling to find solid friends, you have friends who put their names on the line to help you raise money. These people were literally campaigning for her every day. I was on social media, praying for her and doing all of that. And they put their names on the line to get money for you. And... In the peak of them asking you for accountability, like, okay, how what's going on? Where's the money? All of that. You block them, you know, cut them off. She now started lying. She now went to screenshots Google and pictures from Google and says she's at the she's at the hospital. Um, her doc- puppy fuck up, but this should have been his defense in court. That her doctor asked her to drop her phone. She was now googling. She was now googling no, places, no taking girl. pictures. At first, I was like, this place does not look like. Your commit is ass. This is ass. So like, so that from the pictures she first cast. Is that where you're going? She yes, she was pictures. telling them that she's at a mental home. Kini Kini, her friends are meant to go and Google search the picture. They know that the picture was taken from Google. Then the picture that she now sent them a chat of her and her doctor. They now zoomed in on, on the person and saw that, that that doctor is that someone that died in 2020 or something. And that man does not exist. She just used a random dead man's picture or something. Skizzy. All of these are things that can actually happen when you have me mentally. Skizzy, rap, pop, pop. 
Skizzy. Après ça. Il est mad, l'eau pousse à gauche. Tu vois, tu vois. Tu vois. Il est mad, l'eau pousse à Tu vois, on me fait ce touch. Il est un peu classe, mais mon. Tu vois, go club, go de beat people. Go de. Tu vois, on a. Tu vois, on a. Four girls. Tu vois, Fresh is looking for. Yeah, bottle girls. Bottle girls. You know, <laughs> she didn't see bottle bottle girls. She don't beat bottle girls. Bro, now you just remember me of something that Nigerian artists are just anyhow. An artist posted a picture, and I'll show you this picture. Posted a picture that is performing at a club. A certain brand is sponsoring. sponsoring the event. Like it's like a club activation for a drink. He's just performing, right? The brand is there, right? And you and your artist friend now goes. Uh, we go buy ten azul. We go buy 10 Azul, 100 Azul. And the person that is sponsoring is a different br- is a drink brand. Drink brand. Like, this is why they don't invite artists to Barbie. This, this is the, is this behavior. And no, no, it's true. And I said, what's a Barbie? Me, you no go talk, say. Ah, there's no Afrobeats here. It's Afrobeats here. Why? But why is there no Afrobeats Barbie? Melody. They're giving a Black Panther. Melody. That she, she would say. <laughs> Melody. Give me Afro, give but so, but Panther. actually... Do you know how much Black Panther... Nicki Minaj should have even... Nicki Minaj should have even done like the playlist for that Barbie. Because she's an actual Barbie. The music space. That's a lot. That's a lot. She should have been the one. Big ups to yeah, Mark Ronson. Now nah, Mark Ronson did the album. Because, 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 because you're a good artist. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, yeah the executive producer. The, I get why. I get why. I get why. They should have put you as the lead single. And, and the market the, yeah, and where? They, they market that part. Yeah. And I don't even think she needed Ice Spice on that, on that song. She just she Ice Spice is the Ice Spice is the... Ice Spice. That's, what she, that's what I'm saying. That she took the entire glory. She should have been only Nicki Minaj. This is her moment. She has been Why pushing... Ice Spice, Spice is the hot is the river. Ice Spice is the hot now. But Nicki Minaj has been pushing this Barbie. Well, congrats. congrats. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? Congrats. If Ice Spice don't do the song, you know go pop like that. I don't know, but I spy his pockets in that song. Do you guys know... I mean, they're the bodies. Uh, <laughs> 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 Do you guys know how difficult it is for me to get a line of thoughts out? Well, interestingly, I talked about... Like, my friends will let me... Let me talk! No, the criminal's husband's name is Ken. Do you don't do yes. that. Now, that's what... That's she rapped about this yeah. I'm a tesser with a Ken. Oh! Oh, man, this is... Mm. But, like, what's the achieve with a Ken? It's sexual offender. Let's not even do that. Sex offender, let's not even do that. I don't know. She's not my idol. I don't. I don't fuck with Nicki Minaj. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't okay. Meanwhile, did you guys know that this boy was a barb before it blew up? Who? Um, Lil Nas X. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Popular barb. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Barbara. <Yeah. laughs> Tolani. Well, that guy don't go. Tolani yeah. is so obsessed <coughs> with masculinity in a way that I cannot understand. What did I do? What? Why? Why is? Why are you calling him a bur- barb? You are saying to some of this guy. <laughs> I mean, he rhymes. Lil Nas X is a barb. <laughs> That's what they call themselves. Are you a barb? How the fuck would I be a barb? I'm not anybody. I'm not a. I'm not. Don't belong. I, I belong to everybody. I don't belong to nobody. So like is so. <laughs> I don't know. He's so man, man. Like no, I don't. I don't, I don't bro, know. I like Lil Nas X more than you do. You do? Uh-uh. Oh, okay. Bro, how many Lil Nas X songs? I don't. Sing? Listen, I don't want a fan. Eh, oh. Music. I don't want. <laughs> There's so, too much, much. there's so much agenda. <laughs> he does I'm not ready for all that. He does too much. I'm not, it's, but he's a good artist, but yeah, too much agenda for me. My problem, my problem with him is he does too much. He needs to be less than Anyway, shall Bro, let me read. Time is guy, going. We have like four or five minutes that, left. That guy, that guy, that guy, that guy, that guy went to, went to, went to. Another break. Show has finished now. Why get? Because I saw our producer wouldn't pay. But like, ah, that, guy went, that guy went to Met Gala. Did you see where he went? I saw it. That's how you should start dressing. All right, we have an email. From a fan, the title, the subject is finally caps. Hello guys, I'm so excited that the pod is back, bigger and better. I might add. I'm also happy that everyone is and has been doing well. You're on TV. That's some good news. Congratulations to you all. I would like to ask for your opinion or advice. I just finished university. Got the. Why these people? Why are you asking us for? <laughs> Bro, I, I'm even looking for who to give me advice. Got the LL, LLB bagged. And the brother pre- in arms. And the pressure. This is a sister. And the pressure. Oh, sorry. Person that says, Don't everyone me. everyone wants to look for trouble so I can defend them. In bracket, Motolani, do you understand? Like, you know where you're a lawyer. No, yeah, no. Everybody won't go commit. Yeah. Then, then there is the graduate herself wondering what's next. I've always been interested in music. I have been considering the music business, but I don't know if the grass is greener there. Hmm. Uh, it doesn't matter. 
But she has a she never go law school. But we know she hasn't. But regardless, if someone wants to build a career in the music music industry, maybe as an A and R, I just want to begin. <laughs> Again, I'm interested in music journalism. However, I did doubt myself. Aww. I've read some articles and I've seen words used that I did not know exist. I have also seen figurative expressions. Well, I thought this email is for you. I've also seen figurative this is where you come expressions in. and gasp in awe. Gasp? What? In awe. <laughs> well, Tony, what's your advice to someone who wants to build writing and comprehension skills to be able to convey the right message and emotions through music journalism? <laughs> Cut all Looking line. forward to getting some feedback. Thank Tony, you, for you should reading. take this seriously. It's um, I, honestly, like I feel, I feel a little awkward when people are asking for this. And I know this particular person. Oh, you're the person. No, I know the person from Twitter. The person is a huge. Excellent. Let me respond. It's almost no, no, time. The, the, the girl is a response. The truth is, the truth is, I'm very awkward when it comes to situations like this because yeah. I feel a type of way like. It's your. Do you what's understand? that word now? I can connect um, you with this person directly. Okay. Should I do that? Okay, I think that's fine. But I think the only response I have right now is, be sure that's what you want to do. Because it's for the greener pasture. <coughs> yeah, no, it's not for the greener pasture. She's like, saying that it's the grass greener. Like, she asked us, man. She's the grass, the grass greener, right? the, 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 I, I don't think... I, I assume that you're under 25, right? I don't think you should be worried about grass being greener She right has now. bills to pay. Like, wait. I don't think you should be worried. You are going to get paid, like, if you want to enter journalism, if you are really willing to work, right? Maybe like five years in, sure. No. No, you, you'll be able to pay your bills, at least, you know? Um... I don't think you should be worried about grass being green. I think you should be worried about do you want to do it? Do you have, um, a, passion do you have a passion for it? Is that what you want to do? If it's what you want to do, then the passion is going to drive you to, to wherever. Regardless of if they don't pay you money. Um, they're going to pay you money. Um, that's number one. Number two, um, forget about all those things, all those expressions that you're saying. All those grammar. What matters? Unfollow Tolani first because his tweets can be a lot. Okay. What matters is that can you write? Can you express in clear, concise times? Um, terms. Um, let's be honest. So possibly the best writer of a pop culture that I've seen is I am Data M. And he writes with the least amount of serenity. I mean, Data M is so good. That's AOT2. 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 He writes fantastic. with the least amount of serenity. Niger Times, Abby. Um, Niger Times. Yeah. Niger Times. So, writes with the least amount of, of serenity. Like, it's just straight to the point. You yeah. understand it. If you want to pay analogy, pay an analogy. Just write, right? And number three, don't be in a hurry to write glowingly. Start right. by writing. For just write just right. for the point of what you want to express. Yeah. And then over time, you will become what you want to become. And then along the, along the way, just read. You know? Yes, you have to read. Then you have to read. You have, you have to, to read. read a lot. Um, read a lot. Um, because I, f- I, I feel like reading... But I say she shut up there. Yeah, you're still there. You didn't say she shut up. Reading yeah. improves. Reading improves... Um, your writing skills more than you ever know. It does. Um, it does. I think read, read, uh, another thing is understand your niche, man. Where do you want to go? Send music. Okay, if you want to write in music, then start from somewhere. You probably need to start as an intern. Don't be, don't be cocky. Don't except, be like, except we'll introduce you to Tulani. Tulani is okay. It's fine. Wait, it's not the moment. Let me to. talk now. The person has for you know. I'm sure somebody will send an email in one hey, of these don't days be asking don't you, touch me. Melody, for advice. <laughs> but until become, that time, don't become an OAP. That time, <laughs> we are the Zero Conditions Podcast and we are signing out. Thank you very much. Please check us out. Full episode is out on YouTube on Monday. Hey, everybody go and subscribe to our Send YouTube us messages. And send us an Are you guys still dragging me on social Zero media? Like... Pod at gmail.com. Zero conditions. You deserve what you I, I need to say something. I posted something very random yesterday. I said, I, st- I, st- I started speaking up for myself and I never stopped. I started, spe- I started speaking up and I never stopped. What do you when they responded? You start speaking up, but you stop speaking up on the pod. Well, so, so, I didn't even answer. So, shout, like, what are you shout saying? Out to him. What's his name again? Elias. You say you, you start speaking up for yourself, but you stop speaking on the pod. I'm like, the pod is. So, so his, name is, and said, his <laughs> name is Elias Giddy. So, I don't think he, he knew that we are. We are yes! Non-zero I was conditions. just getting tweeting about so my own was, life. Man, so, he, he had, so, when I tweeted that the pod is back. Is that the guy that did not know that the pod is back? Oh, I saw that. I, yeah, he replied, I started speaking he replied up and said, my... I don't like the energy of the new people that you people have on the pod, blah, blah. I'm like. Why don't the ones on the point? I don't understand. Oh, he went to terms and yeah. conditions. Yeah. Oh, he missed road. No, no, no. Stop mentioning that. That's freaky. I said the other podcast. Anyways, um, so every time I tweet something that's just about me, you guys should not go and go and be countering me with this podcast. You, you say a lot of nonsense. Yeah. No, I think you're very silly. Anyway, we are done. Thank you very much. I love you everybody. too. Fuck you. Uh, yeah. From next week, we'll have a guest. We are back in the guest. guest we, should be, we, should have, we should have a we guest. We should have had a guest today, but, but life happens. Afrobeats. Yeah.
Thank yeah. you so much, guys. Love you. Our See you. Our community next manager week. is already here. Bye bye. We out. <laughs>